Hey, no pressure. Never graduated, but I stole them like professor. Growing up, the world always told me I was lesser. Growing up, the world told me I could not address. Her. Okay, so I think the first log we actually going to be completing is the QBD log. I already got the pet at like 36kc. There it is. Um, and this is currently what the lock looks like. We still need one of the uh, royal pieces, which I think is 1 in 50. And then we need the dragon kaiju, which is 1 in 250. And the dragon bait upgrade kit, which is also 1 in 250. So technically, we should be done in around 500 kills. And I've only done 104 kills, and this is my lock. So this will definitely, definitely, definitely be the first lock we complete. But we'll see. I'm only doing them on Slayer tasks, so we'll see how quick it goes and how lucky we get. But for every drop, you'll see a clip. So let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, we need two more items. Oh my god. We got the Dragon Kite Shield. That is insane. That is actually insane. We all need the Dragon Bait Upgrade Kit and once. Okay, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Are you serious, bro? We're at like 107 KC. And all we need is a Dragon Bait Upgrade Kit, which is the same drop rate as the Dragon Kite Shield. And a royal frame, which is like 1 in 50 or something. So, ooh, we're gonna get this log. Alright, can we get a back-to-back? -back? <laughs> we did get a back-to-back -back item, but it's not the one that I need, you know? <laughs> we did get a back-to-back, -back, though. I mean, hey, if, if this was the um, the frame, then we literally needed one item for log. Okay, <laughs> can we get back-to-back-to-back? -to -back -to -back? <laughs> no, okay, good. <laughs> I was low-key scared that it would actually happen. This game hates me. It's always the final hit. Always the final hit. You're joking. You're actually joking me. <laughs> Which one more item? We need one more item. Dude, we only need the frame, which is, like, not difficult to get at all. Oh, my lord. Let's go. I mean, we rolled the table. This is not the right one. Anyway, this this will probably happen a couple of times. I, I, I can assure you that. This was the absolute worst... BS skill ever, bro. Another roll. Not the right item. We need the frame. Not the sight. Not the stabilizer. We need the frame. Okay, that's the end. That's not the end of the Slayer task. That is the end of the Slayer task. I'm gonna try to get another uh, Black Dragon Slayer task, but if I don't, uh, if I get another boss test like Greater Demons or Avientes, I will do that. But hopefully, we'll get the uh, uh, Black Dragon. Uh, slave task, Jesus Christ. Nope, instead we got one of the best experience tasks, so I'll just quickly do the Abyssal Demon task and then we'll go from there. Yes, there it is, another Black Dragon task. Hopefully we can finish uh, QBD on this task and the leftover kills we use at KBD because we still need to finish that log as well. That's yet again not a piece we need. <laughs> Oh wait! It was! Oh, I thought it wasn't! <laughs> yes, we got the log! Let's go! Oh my god! Let's go! Oh, I thought it wasn't the piece we needed! <laughs> right, so yeah, um, you guys now know how much of an idiot I actually am when it comes to, uh, to drops. This is still on stream, by the way, so that's why you see face cam in certain clips and not face cam in other clips, but um... Let me, let me, let me, dude, I, I, I did, I did it in 165 kills. I literally did 96 kills today to get the last few items. I didn't have a Royal stab Stabilizer at the start. I didn't have the frame. I didn't have the Kite Shield. And I also didn't have the Upgrade Kit. And I got that all in like 90 kills, which is ridiculous. Keep in mind, I got the pet like 34 KC. And for anyone who's interested in how much I made, this is like a rough estimate of how much I made in those skills, which is 15 mil, which is quite nice. I'm going to try to keep a bit better track of other bosses I do. Like, I'm going to do KVD now, um, which I'm just going to do a screenshot of the inventory every single time. I'll just save them up for myself and then just 
get it out of my loot tab because obviously a lot of loot is overlapping and it's difficult for me to keep, keep track but yeah that is my first ever boss lock done and as you can see i have the title the experiment which is sick so yeah let's uh let's let's finish this task off at kbd and then we'll see from there whatever uh whatever other tasks we're gonna get the dinosaurs literally standing in front of me why can it not attack me like hello dinosaur like why are we struggling to attack like i'm happy you're not attacking me but like why is this a thing like seriously that that makes no sense oh my i don't even want to know how rare this is i got the blowpipe feather dude i just want the tooth i don't want the blowpipe feather yeah, you you know how I had that that that, that blowpipe feather, right? And th 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 there was no roar active, and um, you know my stream was like that. That's one in two k, right? So I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll I'll just 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 look it up. It's one in twenty k. Like, why? All I want, all I want, is the dinosaur tooth. I already got the rib bone, but I just want the dinosaur tooth, so I can get the Slayer Helm stand. I do not want a blowpipe feather. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Hello. When this th when did this happen? We got it. We got the dinosaur too. We're done. We we can do the last two or three kills at, at Rex Matriarchs. When did this happen? Did I, did I miss it? I completely missed it. Anyway, yeah, we got the dinosaur too, which means we can upgrade the base camp. All right. Um, let's see. I'm pretty sure if I talk to you, manage base camp, I go to Slayer Lodge and I can click upgrade. Let's go. I just need to put it on the stand and then we can actually do proper Slayer about the hell. Okay, so I finally hit the bullet and bought full trimmed masterwork. So let's custom fit trimmed masterwork. Wait, do I need to equip it, guys? Is, is, is that what you need to do? Maybe. Mm. Hold on. If you got fully equipped set of trimmed masterwork, I can custom fit it. Okay, wait. I should have read that first thing. What does it say at the end? You must be wearing a full set of trimmed masterwork in order to custom fit it. Do I need to augment it first? Wait, hold on. Doesn't fit if... If it's augmented... It'll remain augmented, and you repair it the same way you repair cost. Um, yeah, just augment it just in case. Before. Okay, good. That's the work, and we're now gonna custom fit it. So I can never sell it again. Completely fine. Um, but it will definitely, definitely be worth it. Do you want to custom fit your trim masterwork? There we go. It's done. Now time to augment it and get back to sleep. Okay, cool. We finished the task off at the matriarchs and made about like let's call it seven mil because i got around 300k in cash shops as well i mean it's it's not the greatest money in the world but i mean oh wait hold up hold up <clears throat> so yeah we made 3.6 mil so let's make that four mil that's it's still not the greatest money in the world but hey oh we're just here for collection marks and for slayers so we'll see we'll see also, for, for anyone who's who's ever gotten a nightmare task, um, you can actually save spot stack them and just AoE them down. Um, if you put a auto-filling royal dwarf cannon there um, at this spot, so if you have like the little logo here, if you put it like right here, and you stand where I'm standing, you're literally safe spotting these. You could just do them in one go. These are some of the best experience tasks in the game, and obviously they drop the nightmare guns, which are going for 100 mil right now, so that's sick. So... Yeah, quick tip, if you want a full guide on it, I can do that, but this should explain it. So, yeah, let's go. Okay, another task done, a whole nightmare task that gives us, like, 7.4 mil. Like, nightmare tasks are so good for money. Like, we even got quite unlucky on Dragon Battle. Like, usually I get a lot more of these, so it's 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 just a great task, man. Like, never skip it, especially with the save spot. It's free money, free experience. Also, do you guys like me doing these price checks after each task, or do you think... Shut up, just give us, like, collection locks and stuff. Like, just let me know in the comment section down below, but move on. I mean, that's a bit awkward. Um, 
I was just recording for my latest RuneScape video and then this suddenly popped in. Oh, I actually turned on my welcome as well. I didn't mean to, but hi. Um, yeah. This happened. Bandos Boots and War Priest of Bandos Gauntlets in, in one kill. And I'm pretty sure these are lock progression. So, in y you can't make this up, bro. Like, I'm literally live commentating. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll just continue on with this video. It's weird. Yo, what is this recording, man? We also got a starved ancient effigy. I don't know how rare they are, but I mean, we got these in the same kill. Then we got this. I'm pretty sure we got these of a minion as well. And then we got a starved ancient. And yeah. Recording for YouTube videos gives you luck. Promise. Guaranteed. New meta. All right, there it goes. 120 defense on the main. Let's go. Another 120k to the collection, and we can finally train to make sure other combat styles, which is really, really, really nice. So, yeah, let's go. I mean, I'm telling you, even DKs are just regular drops. Like, this is just not getting lucky. It's still 2.2 mil for like 36 minutes. So, I guess it's a decent Slayer test nonetheless, because it's good experience and, you know, 2.2 mil. And you can get lucky with a Sears or... A berserker ring, which are like 14 15 mil so okay, let's let's claim let's claim the kp is wearing uh yes please um i've mastered the skill blah 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 good story yes give me there we go there it is oh well obviously it won't show hold up let me uh... i mean it's it's an all right cape it's it's quite nice i will you know, i'll walk around with it a little bit it, it looks nice. It's a clean cape, but still, archaeology cape is a lot nicer. So, yeah, another another 120k on the account. That is uh, number three on the account. Beautiful. B, who showed this AFK method on Hellweir. And honestly, it's insane. I might just do one vampirism aura every single day at Hellweir. Because, to be fair, like, obviously, I didn't get any uniques. I'm pretty sure this doesn't count on the collection log. I will actually have a little check in a second, but... Dude, these are just the regular drops that I got from it. And it is, like, not one of those things. Like, it's 7 mil, bro. Like, and it's not even one of those things that's, like, oh, yeah, it's AFK, but you still need to pay attention. No, like, it's fully AFK. Like, all I need to do is just, you know, make sure I'm potted and everything like that. And that that really is it. But let's see if it's actually um, put it on the collection log. I actually don't know. Yeah, it actually did. So we actually got a collection log entry. I still need the legs. Um, I need the Crest of Saren, I need the Wand, and obviously the Orb and the Pet. So, yeah, we'll we'll see how long that will take. But um, I'm just going to try and get the reputation for this as well, because I don't have any. So, yeah, that's currently Borat with Hellware. Warrior's Ring. Great, bro. Absolutely fantastic. Just what I wanted. It's not like I wanted the Berserker Ring. It's not like this, like, 200k. <gasps> Ooh, let's go. That's an Archer's Ring for the collection. That's beautiful. How much are they selling for right now? Oh, I mean, that's a nice 3.3 mil. Very nice. Way better than that Warriors ring we got earlier. I hope you forget. Yes, we got the double archer ring. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yes, boy. <laughs> that is hilarious, man. <laughs> I mean, for anyone who doesn't do DKs on task, um, I have the Mask of Dagonov, which also doubles your drops every 10 kills. But besides that, if you don't just claim a Dagonov task whilst you're doing Slayer every three days, like, dude, I made this 11.2 mil. Obviously, I got lucky on the Archer's Rings in less than half an hour. It is insanely good money. So, you know, definitely, definitely recommend getting this task done here it should come my 110 farming actually some skilling progress would you look at that there it is 110 farming beautiful level 10 more levels to go which i already had so thank you game but hey that's like two mil yeah but you can't tell we got four piece 
I mean, hey, double pop. 111 Farming. This clip didn't have any audio, so whilst I have you, don't forget to like the video. It's always appreciated. Enjoy the rest of it. Well, that was a very uh, fun and interesting uh, kill. That is still... Oh, wait, yeah, that is kill 100. Okay, yeah, yeah, I was like, where's my pop-up? But, yeah, drama in the group. 100 kills, no luck. Yeah, it sucks. Well, another hour, never lucky. Yay. Okay, how much did we make, though? I mean, dude, even even if you get unlucky at Crows, I made, I made another 18 mil. And those trolls, hold up. Let me... Let's take all of them, yes. It's like 18 mil. Plus another like 3 mil. So it's like 20 mil again. It's good. You want a unique, man. I mean, 21 mil is a really, really good chest. But yet again, an hour without drops. But at least maybe. Uh, yeah, that's another like 2, 3 mil to the collection. It's like a 24, 5 mil hour, which is decent, but... I just want to drop on 170k seed. Oh my god, yes! Yes! <laughs> yes, I got the crimp blue buttons! Oh my god, actually a drop I wanted. Let's go. <laughs> let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Finally, I was just about to make a clip that I was so unlucky. We got a clue scroll and buttons, bro. Let's go! Alright, will we get back to back? Never lucky i mean we still got a manuscript so that's i guess nice let's look at the chest all right the chest oh it looks so gorgeous it looks so gorgeous ripped bloom bottoms it's great with an elite clue as well oh thank god we're not gonna sell it because i'm actually gonna be using crypt bloom but um yeah let me let me take that out let me take those out as well the rest can all be banged Oh, that's beautiful, man. Honestly, no springs, but hey, sick. We got it. And there it is. Crypt Bloom Bottoms that we can actually use. Does it even say the price? No, it's not 66 mil. I believe it's around 6, 700 mil or something. We're not selling it. As I said, I really want to use the set, but we got it. We actually did get it. And there it is. Kill number... 200 where's the pop-up there it is 200 also reaper task which gives us 27 points and yeah um one drop as the crypt bloom road top or bottom sorry my bad and that's literally it for me with crosses so yeah should have got seen at least four drops in my name by now but hey oh who knows <laughs> oh my god we got a spore hammer <laughs> I was just saying to the guys that I just got my first drop today. <laughs> yes, that's my second. Oh, let's go. I have no idea how expensive that is, but let's go. Hey. <laughs> I was just saying to them, like, dude, I hope one of you gets it. Not a greedy gamer. There you go. We actually got another one. We got the boots. It's actually quite funny. Usually I wouldn't include other people's drops, but that was actually quite interesting. <laughs> <laughs> dude i have been so dry just in the last two trips i got two drops <laughs> you cannot make this up let's go dude this chest looks incredible bro like hello like these both are i think like added up like 300 mil for him i need to price check them i will let you know i'll just get them out of the chest um but yeah, when I uh, when I know more, I shall. Um... Oh, we got we got three of these as well, bro. The RNG today is cracked. Okay, so I have these in the uh, Grand Exchange. I'm willing to sell for 195 mil. This will sell over time, to be fair. I sold for 100 and well 105 mil, pretty much. It's nice. So to see the price, I'm selling this by the way because as I'm recording this, it is actually um, going to be double XP weekend. So. It's 235 mil, um, but I'm missing something. Missing these. Also, keep in mind, there is also like it, mils and mils and mils of cash. So like around 270 mil. So, yeah, pretty good. Low. 
uh, Armadillo gloves drop while recording for a YouTube video. Need to edit this out again, but yeah, another drop. <laughs> Let's go. I don't know if this has anything to do with double XP, right? But my chest has been going up. It gets 21 mil from one hour. Um, plus some what we get from here. But I think it has to do with like the double XP whilst I'm recording it. That's like another uh, <laughs> 4 mil to that. So that's, oh, 6 mil to that. So that's 27 mil an hour. Sick. <laughs> Yo, 102 construction. Purely 101 to 102 construction is purely of uh, Croesus. Actually a nerd. Bro, I got a clue scroll and a manuscript. That is actual BS, bro. That's probably more rare than an actual drop. <gasps> Let's go! Cripple of Boots! Let's go! Another piece. I mean, it's only 100 mil, but still. That's another piece to my Cripple of set. Let's freaking go! I misclicked my telly. Um, besides me misclicking my telly, this is an insane looking chest. I've got all the rares you can get, um, including a unique, which is insane. But um, yeah, not, not, not a bad chest. We're definitely keeping these. We need two more pieces and then I'm happy. Yo, guys, we got level 100 fire making. Great clip for the video. Oh my God. So I'm just in a video call and I got my first log progression for KQ. I'm just doing the Slayer task right now. It's a bit late, so if my voice is a bit low. I'm really sorry. But we got the Dragon Chain body. Really, really nice. Dude, literally like four or five kills later. Hellfight Queen Head. I think all we need now is the Dragon 2H and obviously the pet, and then we're done here. Wow. Another one. 113 hit points. Another requirement. As I said, I have to be quiet, but 113. Guys, I killed 25 Hellfight Queens. Hog Champus. Sick. No, I'm just here for a slayer task, don't worry. There is another divination level, a uh, divination dungeoneering level. 112. Eight more levels to lamp. Uh, I mean to train for 120 dungeoneering. <clears throat> we got two umbral chests from the Prime Gaming reward from February. See if we can get something good. Come on. Come on, open up. Lucky Chaotic Claw. Can I get something good? Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yeah, anyway, uh, open your umbral chest, I guess. Hey, another archer's ring. Dude, we're farming these. Jesus Christ. Seriously. 36 minutes. 6.4 mil. If you're wondering why 36 minutes, overload, but dude, Dagon of Kings are great money. Simple man, just give me pets. I'm 10 hours of Vindictive with nothing other than the Essence. Yikes. The Essence isn't worth anything, is it? It's like 600k. Well, <laughs> we were just talking about me not getting drops at Vindicta. Well, guess you should complain and you get a Dragon Rider Lance. Nice. Lock progression. Let's go. I mean, hey, that's not bad for a Reaper task that only lasted me 23 minutes. Uh, of course, the Dragon Rider Lance. <laughs> Uh, very, very lucky. I might actually keep it for some video purposes, actually, but uh, like beginner guides or whatever. I don't know. Um, I just unmuted my stream that I'm watching. Shout out Mr. Baseman. Go check him out on Twitch. Base underscore man. Great, great streamer. He does clues, but we got 300 gross skills. Nice. Not bad. Yes, we got him in one line. Finally. I really wanted this to happen. I don't know. I'm such a nerd, but that's so satisfying. I love that. I didn't even know that was possible. Like, literally, my RNG is that bad with just everything, unless like the odd blood die. Yes. Fuck off with at least a master clue. Oh my god, god! Yes!
that it should literally be age restricted. Because it's literally porn. The way I get fucked in the ass. Blah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Another closest file torch. Let's go. That's my first Jew. I mean, that is 300 mil, bro. I, or 250 mil. Um, that's first Jew. Let's actually go. Oh, dude, we got a double drop last time. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize. A level 100 mining at Crozo. We got a double drop last kill, by the way. I didn't even realize that. That's insane. Oh, dude, this chest looks so good. I know it's not worth 66 mil. It's more like 300 mil or something, somewhere around that. But that looks good, bro. That looks so good. I mean, hey, work is working. Eh? We got it, let's go! <laughs> let's freaking go, bro! That's the one I wanted. Oh my lord, yes! Oh, I can't wait. Dude, just opening this chest, seeing this top right here makes me so happy. I will show you in a moment what I've got planned. Um, but dude, that chest just looks incredible. Um, this will be uh, the end of Crosis so far. But the next clip, we'll talk about the next episode. Also, I'm a bit more quiet because my parents are actually asleep. Great timing, I know. This is the second price check. Obviously, a lot of money comes from these uh, manuscripts of big. Half of them are from this trip, but I didn't price check them last time. So it kind of shows how much money you make. But even if you take that out, I made 240 mil of my second stint. And I know some of the grimies are the dwarf eater carried over. But even if I take like... I don't know, like 3k out of them. It is still 200 mil, and this file torch is also 250, so that makes like 450 mil on the second price check. So, just of normal loot and rare loot that I'm selling, I made over 1.5 bill, I believe. And then obviously, I got Crypt Bloom, and I will show you what I'm up to, by the way. So, here was my plan to actually buy the helm when I got the second most expensive piece. So I have the full set right here in my inventory. From everything what I need, I will use Carapex wrist wraps, um, which I have in the bank right here. Um, I still need to upgrade them, but we'll get into that. But um, yeah, that will uh, make the Cripploom set for us, and that will be the thing that we focus on. Yo, I didn't use that much food that's in my inventory, but I'm no pro Telos, but holy moly, this Cripploom is over powered at Telos. Like, barely, barely take any damage the first few phases. It's been so long since I've actually done it, so um, I'm not used to it, but um, wait, what did we get? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Quick uh, magic level uh, in between. Awkward. We did it, though. Another kill. <laughs> Yay, battle staves. Alright, we'll just continue challenge one more time. 24, yikes. Yeah, I'm gonna so die next time. Easy, 5kc at Telos. Will we get anything good? Probably not. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, I'll continue the challenge. I can still push some and rage, but Jesus Christ, this is intense. But also easy with Crypto. Every single time I'm gonna get this, I'll get excited and then realize I do not need it. But that's Calvite had too. Can you believe? We found the world at Scarif, but there's the first combat level. 100 attack. Hey, for the key knight individuals that might have seen that my Slayer level was going to be leveling up in the next clip. There we go. 108 Slayer. We can now do uh, Moss Columns, which is a very, very good task. We're still doing Boss Slayer when we get the task, but obviously I'm not going to skip these tasks because these are actually really good. Bit of a... Uh, weird uh, requirement coming in but um yeah i got all the zygomites on the chronia my friend here is going for trim completionist so i was like you know what i'll just join you on your journey with all the zygomites so um yeah i uh, got the uh, the totem top of auras yay a another farming level 112 eight levels to go for 120 farming yikes i didn't have my recording device open aka obs <laughs> Whilst um, getting my reputation um, to max, but um, 
Yeah, I got a 100% drop rate now at the Zero General Vindicta, which means I can properly AFK it now with actual rate. So um, expect Vindy clips. <laughs> Lol, I got a new personal best. <laughs> with three seconds at 105, fully AFKing this. This is ridiculous, man. Hey, we got a unique, which is something we have at five of. Four. Yay! It just what even legs would have been log progress, but no, I got four helms. Stop giving me head. I mean, it's not great money by any means, but at least when you do an hour of that it's AFK enough. And obviously, I'm just working on log, that's all I'm there for, but yikes. <laughs> Well, 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 we got our first unique in the Sorosian Essence, which I'm pretty sure is one I needed for the log, question mark? Yes, this is the this is actually unique to the log, nice. So we just need the legs and the crest and obviously the two pets and then we got um, the log completed. So yeah, nice log progression. Before I go back to Hellweir, I just want to get this max out at 100% rate. I know I can do the bounties, but I'm just... You know, trying to hand in uh, these seals I get from uh, Vedicta, seeing as I have to be there anyway. But I just wanted to see how much we'll get from it. Okay, so we just go one rank up. I want to see if we would get something interesting. So we pretty much are around, I think that's like 100, that's like 300 kills off. I will do some bounties as well, but I just wanted to, uh, I wanted to see. I'm just going to focus on Vedicta at the moment and then I'll switch over to Hellware and then from there we'll do the other two. Yay, God Sword Shard 3, just what I wanted. No, that's not what I wanted. Hey, there's the first level. Whilst I actually turn on my sounds a little bit higher so I can actually hear my big brook. The 101 agility turn double experience. Whoop, whoop. Hey, there's the first herbal level coming in. 103, expect a lot of levels. 104 herbler. 105 herbler. Oh. 106 herbal. 107. We don't want the uncut onyx. We want the mesh. Um, except the tokar kal mesh. Yes. Thank you, my G. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeeze. That will be my best in slots. For magic. Until I get the kiln cave. Uh, the, the, the zap cave. Hey, another Sorosian Essence for the collection log. It's not worth watch. Hello, game. Thank you. Um, but hey, it's it's unique, I guess. Whoa, no. Hey, 109. Hey, 102 Hunter. Let's go. Hey, 100 Woodcutting. Purely gotten. Of course, it's 99 to 101. Yay! Another Zerosian Essence! Something that's not worth anything and that I do not need for log. Thank you, I appreciate it. No. Holy shit, how did I just improve my record by 5 seconds by just AFKing? Oh, fair enough. New record. 1 minute. 111. 112? My name is Jeff. 114? 115, five more levels to go. That was the last of the double experience, and now I'm sad. Now it's gonna take longer, but hey ho, we got quite far with it. So let's see, let's see, let's see. 160. 102 agility, covered up by the system update. Yay! Also, <laughs> it's literally covering up the interface of um, of the double experience, which I literally just had to click through it. It, it, it ain't the one, but hey ho. One or two agility, and we're well on our way to 117 herb lore, which is nice. 117, three more to go. Finally, I got the herb lore pet. Oh, it's one of the few pets I actually really, really want. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy about that one. Let's go. I was just, I was just on YouTube, and I was like, "What the hell is going on?" There it is, the herb lore pet. Let's go. 118, two more levels to go. One. One, nine, one hundred, nineteen. One more level to go. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. One, twenty, herb lore. Finally, this is what I wanted. We got it. Skill mastery. Let's go. 
I need to make a screenshot for Twitter now. But yo, thank you guys so much for the grats in chat. I really do appreciate it. Everyone on YouTube as well. Thank you for your grats. Please give me grats. Um, yeah, 120 Herb Lord. Let's get that cape. Yo, cake mix. Give me the uh, skill cape of Herb Lord. Uh, I have mastered the skill. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Thank you. I want another one. Two. Three. One. Yes. So now we go to customization. We go to appearance. Sorry, we go to wardrobe. And then we clear customization. And we apply. And then we add this. And now we have a beautiful herb looking. Now, say my name. Eisenberg. You're goddamn right. 120 herb lore achieved. Um, also, if you're wondering how much money um, I'm making back, yeah, I'm making 1.2 bill back. Um, I'm pretty sure I literally spent 1.2 bill on everything, so I kind of broke even because I bought my supplies very, very early on. So, yay me! <laughs> the big XP! Come, 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 come. And that is 113 farming being halfway to 120. For the uh, very observant people within my community that are watching this, you're probably figuring out that this is not that long after um, me getting 113. Yes, I'm using growth potions on uh, the highest tier tree that I can use to... Um, to get farming experience because it's double experience and it's a good way to get experience. And I really need to know these things because they're actually worth something. But um, yeah, um, working on farming. So doing this method with about 80 uh, growth potions, we were able to get pretty much 113 till 114 and a half and made about uh, 2.23 mil. Which obviously it's not a money maker, but um, yeah, I made some money back of the trees. So yeah, but we got experience, and yeah, that's all we do this for. Um, yeah, I just logged in to do my dailies, and I got a level one thirteen dungeoneering. Yay! Law <laughs> dildo. <laughs> nice. A level 102 magic. He had nothing at Vindicta. <laughs> Will we get anything good? Never lucky. Will we be never lucky twice? Yes, never lucky twice. Yup. 102 fishing. Literally got 99 to 102. Literally doing this monthly. Pretty good. 100. Oh, 15 farming. I thought I had 114. Anyway, 115 farming. Well, 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 well. We got a gown of subjugation. I don't know if I needed that for lock. Uh, yes, I did. That's lock progression. Beautiful. Nice. Uh, we're still going on with, with Slayer bossing. We just got a new personal bet of two seconds as well. I literally just am AFK. Well, let's go. Another record with another one second. Currently sitting at 15 seconds. Beautiful. And yes, I'm sick before anyone comments it. Yes, I have COVID and it sucks. <laughs> Again, by the way. Again. Hey, another unique. A hood of subjugation. Farming money. I know I do not need that for lock, but still nice to get. Beautiful. Oh, that is lock progressionless. Oh, we got the full war priest. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, we're getting somewhere with this. We're only missing a few items now. We're missing. Uh, it's so hard to see. The hilt, the ward, the pet, and um, what's it called? The, uh, is it the garp? It's not in my inventory. Oh no, it's the gown, never mind. So yeah, garp, hilt, pet. Cool. I mean, I know I got quite lucky with two drops this hour, but I mean, 8.4 mil doing Zamorak. Fully AFK, not even paying attention. Not bad. I, I'm, I'm happy about it. Great. Yeah, so I might have lost the video for this clue opening, but there's another one in this video. Don't worry. Yeah, so um, we made a 700 mil of the blue straws of just the fortunates and obviously the skipping tickets. Um, and then obviously 1.5 bill of the die. So 
Yeah, not bad. So I sold my entire loot tab of what I had from Slayer. And this is what I have left. I'm trying to build an FCOA while trying to buy one, not build one. So, um, yeah, trying to see um, how far everything will get me. So uh, maybe next clip will be me with a Fracture Staff of Armadale. Well, <laughs> it um, it is so, so nerve-wracking doing these big transactions. But um, there it is, the Fractured Staff of Armadale. I got a crit stick. Let's make some money. Hey, 116 farming, four more levels to go. One of three magic. Yeah, so Prime Gaming gave me some uh, some extra keys. I'm not the one to buy keys, but um, if I get free keys, I will use them. And it obviously goes onto Lampineering, and that will give us 114 Lampineering, six more levels to Lamp, and then we are good. Beautiful. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Hey, there it is. 117 farming. Three more levels to go. For that 120 and no more farm runs. Right. So, seeing as I'm now officially a crit stick Andy, um, I decided to sell my seismic bond to buy a appraisal codex to unlock Affliction, the magic prayer. So I can actually do more damage with the FCOA because I'm just going to use my wand for a switch anyway. So I thought it would be a waste. Um, RuneScape, care to explain? The door won't unlock until all of the guardians have been uh, slain. What guardians, bro? There are none. One mil, nice. Of course, I get them double now. Obviously, that's how clues work. One mil, nice, beautiful. Hey, pajama slippers. That is also lock progression. I love that. I love that pop-up. It's so good. I finally know what I'm getting and what is actually progression. So that's beautiful. 1.5. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, that's a reroll token. Loki. Ah, we'll just use it for the next one. It's fine. 473, bro. Okay, come on. Lock progression and we're happy. Hey, evening gloves. You ask and you shall receive. That is actually beautiful. I already had that one, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> you got a pet on the first kill! <laughs> Lol, I'm just testing FCOA, and I get the pet on the first kill. Finn Diddy, let's go! <laughs> that is a joke. Such a trash kill. Oh, we're not even potted. Still, that was a very good Reaper task. Oh, oh we even got 109. Oh, <laughs> Slayer. Oh, <laughs> I did not even realize. Nice, 109 Slayer of a Reaper task. Beautiful. And my legs, it's actually a lock progression as well. Dude, we made two pieces of lock progression today. That's beautiful. We only do need um, a Crest of Zeros and the Rarvac for the complete lock. That's beautiful. Nice. Oh, nice. 500 KC. That is beautiful. That is really beautiful. Let's say a nice mouse. 500 kills. Like less than 500 kills for one pet. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. <laughs> Why could you not say red elegant trousers Chevel to pray? Because then we would have had the Chevel to trousers right now and not the skirt. We do not need a skirt. No, no we're not going to get a top as well, Cleggy. No, no, it's not going to happen. No, shush. Shush. So for anyone who, who doesn't follow, I need the legs, the trousers, not the skirt. Right color, probably same table. First master, beautiful. Master and a reroll, actually. Uh, 1.6. Blue, no, we're not going to get blue legs either. We're going to get the red elegant legs, trousers, legs. Red elegant legs is what we're going to be getting. No. Guys, please. I want to be done with easies. I don't mind doing easies, but I want to be done with easies, man. Um, no, no blue legs. We're going to get red, elegant legs. Say it with me, guys. Red, elegant legs. Mm. I mean, you want legs. So green maybe? No, but blue is the better color. 
31k is not be more. I know they're better colors, and I like the colors as well, but I want red. Just red colors, bro. Ooh, Master Poggy. Uh, 22k. Riro. <clears throat> I'm, act I'm, Ooh, wow. Okay. 3 mil easy clue. Easy. Ebony, bro. Let's go. Like, don't get me wrong, right? I do think they're 5k. Jesus. One mil. They're, they're better colors, bro. But. Ooh. Nice. No. Nice. No. Dude, that's literally. That money on that last coup, like that 30k, is literally just the water boots. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Again, elegant table. Blue elegant skirt. Guys, can we stop? Well, at least they're not legs. But it's blue elegant. Again. I'm pretty certain that, like, any elegant, like, if you roll elegant, you can get any of the pieces. Can, can some of you guys please just manifest, like, red, elegant, legs for me? No skirt. Ooh, master glue fog. Here we go. Get legs, sure, okay. Oh, no. Things. Oh, uh, did you say red, elegant... Skirt? No. We did. We good. We good. She also. This is a pretty sick clue. Not gonna lie. That is sick. That is sick. I like that. I am not mad about that one. I am definitely not mad about that one. Hey, tuxedo shoes. That is actually log progression. Log progression. Let's freaking go, bro. Oh, making clips for YouTube. For the progression series. Thank you, thank you for the gratis. Oh, that's another lock progression. Let's freaking go, dude. Dude, soul ornament, three lock progression. Huge. You're getting a gilded kite shield. I already got a gilded kite shield. No, like, no. Stop. Stop. No, guys, you guys are literally talking things into existence. Can you please stop? Please stop. No, I don't want a gilded. Dude, for... No, literally, at that point, I'm just going to get a third, third age full helm. Like, literally, that's going to happen. Like, clip this right now, and then add the clip of the third age kite shield after this, because it's all going to know. I wear black, uh, black of gnome scarf cosmetics. Ooh. I hate you guys. I hate you guys. I hate you guys so much. I hate you guys so much. Please. Please. Why? Why? Why do you guys keep doing? No. <laughs> No! Stop! No! <laughs> Guys, please stop calling my items. I hate it. Oh. Curse of the Black Stone done. Beautiful quest to get done. And I mainly did this for the Elite Dungeon, so we can like start properly PVMing within them. But obviously, also needed for quest cape. And here is the actual upgrade to the Elite Dungeon chest, where I can actually also bank within the elite dungeon which is beautiful so yeah big upgrades elite dungeons are now ready to be done also the 10 percent damage decrease is also quite nice are we getting anything good hello slave vip coupon actually it's not too bad for uh for slayer i'm actually working on slayer right now so that's beautiful yo there's 106 magic i actually got 105 like today uh yesterday which is sick this task is incredible for xp map and obviously the uh money as well is good so great task happy to afk hey there it is 114 hit points i would love to get 120 because hit points is a beautiful cape man but there it is 114 and these golems are incredible man they're such good experience yee 110 slayer we actually get something uh bow blooms we don't care for those yeah that's beautiful that's 110 slayer i would like to get it to 115 in my like my current grind session we'll see how far we get uh with it definitely good to get working on slayer and i'm actually really enjoying it as well so yeah are we getting anything good today oh my god we got oh a spirit seed actually dude i really needed a spirit seed oh that's beautiful uh let's say we go to get a dory piece oh that's amazing thank you hey there it is the prisoners of glory which um 
Good quest. Really enjoyed it. And I really like the um, <laughs> um, the music track which you get for this quest, which is Cage Against the Machine, which I think is a very, very funny wordplay. But I need this for something, and I will show you what it is. So one of the completionist requirements is actually to grow all spirit tree. And I couldn't do that. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to plant this. And then I realized I need to do a quest. But there it is. There is one spirit tree, which is also really good for hard clues. So um, yeah, beautiful. Another one planted. One more to go, I believe. And then we have all of them. Oh, wow. Another tier 10 reputation in um, the Imperial District. That's very good. That's a trimmed comp requirement, which we're not going for. But hey ho, anything. Really? Also, incoming attack clip after this. <laughs> hey, a key to the crossing and one or two attack. This task is amazing. It's so nice AFK. It's good experience. It's it's decent for these keys. I'm going to stack all these keys up until 115. And I'm going to do one massive uh, Magister trip. So that's going to be fun. Um, I have no idea how rare a longbone is. I can't remember the last time I got a longbone on RuneScape 3. Uh, eh, I guess. Holy shit. What a kill. And 101 range. Let's go. <laughs> hey, there it is. Extinction done. What an absolute banger of a quest. Honestly, sickest quest ever. I've never done a, such a big quest on release. So amazing to do. The puzzle. I, I even figured out the puzzle. I did this with a friend, but I figured out the puzzles. Like, I used my brain cells. So, uh. Ooh, you're hard. Showing off. Yeah, amazing quest. Definitely would recommend. Very achievement complete. Apparently, I didn't observe all ranking statues, but hey, there we go. We did it. Sins of the Father done, which is a comp requirement, but also apparently you needed to unlock the new skilling area related to extinction. Bit weird, but hell. This should give us another Lampineering level. <laughs> this should give us another Lampineering level. Yes, let's go. That is 116 Lampineering. Four more levels to go. This daily challenge should be 118 Arming. Two more levels to go. We don't have to plant any trees or feed any dragons ever again on this account so something i didn't pick up was my die uh reclaim honor there we go um obviously with every quest points you get the die and i have enough quest points to die which is a tier four so at least clues robin hood i mean it's just unfortunate so that's 1.7 mil beautiful low 108 metric whilst going for uh, a fern seek uh, wish list fair enough easy easy level bro levels getting all around Yee. Look, um, I was just working on the wishes and this popped up and I was like, what the hell is going on? Big man, I have 282 million of these coins in my inventory. You don't think that I know what these are, but uh, sure, I'll pick them up. Did we do it? Did we do it? Is that everything? Let's go. Oh, dude, that was terrible. That quest was absolutely terrible, man. All right. Shut up with your dialogue. Uh, just give me the bone sack, bro. I don't care. Yes, thank you. So, where's my teleport? I just want to teleport. And we did it. Come on, gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Burnsy, was that it? Come on, completion, completion. Easy, okay, finally, we got it. And we got the teleport. That's pretty much what I did this for. Um, this teleport is huge for hard clue scrolls and even easy clue scrolls. So, yes, let's go, boys. We got a blood necklace shard. Easy game. They're not that expensive. Give me, bro. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Fuck off. Yes, thank you. Easy game. Wait, I still didn't pick it up. Stupid. Fuck off, Hunter. You can't make this up, man. This is my third poison recipe in like two weeks. That is insane. If I can get all the poison recipes from Model Load Mall, I'm literally gonna just cry, bro. That's amazing. I don't want to do dungeoneering, man, but that's sick. You can't make this up. This is back to back. Like, seriously, I will literally get all the malware potions from just Model Load Mall. I, I love this. I love this. Do your Model Load Mall, man, honestly. Uh, if we get another recipe, bro, honestly, gonna be freaking out if that happens. <laughs> <laughs> dude you can't make this up man another i'm literally gonna get everything from just i'm gonna get all the recipe from modern mall <laughs> lol as a ghost i see c here and ken Hello, so, i mean dude generally people but obviously i know like sarah just said it but in general like people can generally talk like i generally believe when people say that they can talk and communicate with like Things that are not there, like entities, energies. A hey, one eleven Slayer, beautiful. Another Soul Devourer, which I'll probably never do. A hey, there it is, one o three attack. Let's go. Deployable herb burn. How is it a collection lock thing? There are two on the ground. How can it be collection lock? Game. Hello? Are you on crack cocaine drugs, bro? Dude, I have one in the bank as well. How's that collection log? Also, um, yeah, uh, I already had one in the bank, yet it still popped up for the collection log. Right, okay, are we going to get lucky at Oyster? Sad scam game. V1. Wow, okay. Look at me, man. I have a small dick. I learn content in one go. I, ooh. Right, cool. Anyway. Sad scam game V2. Okay, fair, 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 cool, cool, cool. Okay, well, we'll do that for the third time. So 
first time I thought I recorded the clip getting actually 99, 119 farming. I was like, yes, let's go, boys. We did it. We got 119 farming. And then I, I, I looked at OBS and I didn't record it. Then I re-recorded with still the flashy icon here saying 119 farming. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And then I apparently no clicked, dead clicked record or something because I definitely clicked it, but it didn't, didn't happen. So yes, 119 farming. At least I didn't miss 120 farming. Only 9 million experience to go. We got this. Let's go. Something I've been do, meaning to do for a while is add these melatops to a pen all over on Anachronia. And for those who don't know, these dinosaurs actually give you... Put in something else. I thought I could just add that in. But I will, I will add in the food. But these dinosaurs actually give you a slight percentage increase. I believe it's like 5% or something. Um, to defense. Which, I mean, that's free defense, bro. Like, that's genuinely free. So, um, yeah, I thought I will just whack them in and just... You know, let them go. Unlock every. I should have. Why do I not get a pop up? Oh, I do. I need to do it on both. Well, I locked everything on the um, on the goblin technology tree. I do need to have the dwarven technology tree apparently done as well for the achievement. But um, that's one out of two done, which is uh, which is really nice. Okay, I've been meaning to build this for a very, very long time, but I finally got the auto disassembler because I'm always short on components whenever I do clue scrolls and have fortunes. I always spend like four hours assembling other things, not motivating me to disassemble. But why have one auto disassembler if you can have two? So these will probably be doing the gems and these will do the maple short bows for the refined components eventually. So uh, yeah, and then I'm going to be building some alchemizers as well because i need to find a way to well i need to alchemize my um relics from dungeoneering well ed3 and ed2 and stuff so Ren was curious how much i made from um ed3 just you know this is me just doing darts with my friend so that's why i don't show it in my videos because i don't feel like it's actual pvm content i know we're going through and obviously if we would have gotten an eldritch i would have you know um showed it but I don't know, this is what we made in like, or what I made in 10 darts or something, 15 darts. So it is good, but um, yeah, as I said, I won't wouldn't show it, but I'm going to take it all out before we actually start doing this properly. Also, I did not know there's like 16.8 mil in this chest. Um, it's just of me doing like slayer tasks here. I haven't done that many either, but I will come in here for these uh, because I need those for the limitless one. But whilst I'm here, I'll just take the money as well and keep on stacking. Interesting. Okay, here goes nothing. Let's combine them. Limitless ability trash are usable at 50% adrenaline instead of 5th second. It's going to be so good to practice stuff of our There it is. The limitless ability codex. Let's read it. Let's learn the ability. There we go. We can now learn to use the practice staff of Armadale properly. Let's go. Also, a bit of a random clip to just add in. Um, but for anyone who doesn't know, when you do tree runs, which is good for experience, you can have these, or just anything farmer, you can have these soul leprechauns automatically compost your, your plots. If you just right-click compost and then just select which one you want, and then you can add in the amount that you want. Thought I'd add it in because I did not know that for a very long time, and I feel like a lot of people don't know that either. So yeah, if you do anything farming related, top them up. It costs a little bit of money, but it's definitely, definitely worth it. This could be the progress that I need to this requirement. Let's see all the shit. <clears throat> this is the progress that I might need for the completion requirement for comp, for comp. I need three missions to be successful. I believe this is the first one. Yes. Let's go. Let's freaking go. This means that we are getting there. We done one of the trio missions. We need to do two more to complete the storyline. And then we got the stupid requirement. Let's go. Speaking of trio missions, I believe I've done for, for, for these trios. I've also done one. So this might actually be my second one. I tried to check if I can see it somewhere, but I cannot. So that kind of sucks, but it's looking good. We're getting there. We're nearly done with this stupid requirement. Yikes. Okay, well, we made the Reaver's Ring. Yay. <laughs> it hurts so much. It's so expensive. It cost me like 40 mil. 47 mil, but hey ho, it's so good for the practice of Armadale. Um, I need to scrap some money around this. Oh, yeah. Ah, moment of truth. Oh, never mind. <laughs> kick, kick, kick. Mo oh, never mind. Moment. Hold up, okay. Moment of truth. Yes, that's the second. We all need one more trio mission of this storyline, and then we have to achieve. Oh, at least something's going good. I tried to talk. I hate my life. Not gonna happen. Somehow we're going to do it somehow, but fuck me, that content should be deleted from the game because wave content sucks in any game. Thanks for listening to me. Oh my! I slow sold these vulnerability bombs for 30k each, which made me a slight profit on uh getting 120 herb or so. Oh my god! Um, <clears throat> so something I will probably not be doing much of in the future anyway is penguin. So I was like, you know what? Let's actually just buy these lamps. Um, which to be honest, I I should really be doing penguins because this is gonna give me. Fat 
experience yeah that literally gave me one one nearly two million experience so yeah maybe i should be doing penguins but um yeah that's 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 dank experience actually i should be doing penguins yep penguin time easy money thank you yes mate another head for the collection in it bro yes 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 hey the dragon kite ornament kit that is one for the collection log so that means we only need the dragon rider boots and the dragon rider gloves for the collection log at kbd which is really really nice i am doing my slayer test and huh, yeah about that slayer tap in the first episode it ain't happening bro i'm sorry but we got it let's go hey well apparently that's an uh, that's an uh achievement I just thought I'd make a Dragon Bane 2 8 sword. I know I can buy one of the G, but it just wasn't buying it. I'm not going to spend like 10 mil on a sword I'm only using at KBD. So I thought I'd just make it. Cost me like 3.8 mil or something. But pretty nice. Pretty nice. Apparently it's an achievement as well. So I'm just going to perk it out and go back to KBD. Not going to lie. This is a pretty, pretty decent sword. I don't think I can get any better perks besides... No, literally. I think these are just the best insult perks for this weapon. So... Yeah, let's uh, let's absolutely destroy KBD. Let's go. At this rate, I will genuinely like I will check in a second because I'm quite curious how many I still need. But at this rate, I will genuinely get all the malware potion recipes of Model Old Mod. I do not have to do any dungeoneering at all. Speaking of dungeoneering, I'm gonna get some dungeoneering experience, aka doing penguin. <laughs> I'm genuinely missing three recipes. I don't know what the chances are of getting them. I think I've been extremely lucky, but I need to roll these recipes three more times and then I just do not have to do any dungeoneering at all. And then I can just buy all of them out and then I got this requirement done. That is so funny, man. Thank you, RMG. I appreciate it. See, if you remember from episode one, I know I know it's a little while ago about how I said that I got unlucky on Dragon Battle Axe. This is just a normal task of nightmares and you make 5.3 mil. Easy money. Do your nightmare tasks. It only took like 25 minutes or something. Yes! Oh my god! Let's go! Dude! <laughs> I was just watching Sick Nerd. Yo, we got the Dragon Rider gloss. Dude! Dude, 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 dude. I was just chilling watching Sick Nerd and oh, we're just Dragon Rider boots off. Let's go! Well, there it is. Heart Stealer done. Another achievement, but most importantly, one more quest done for the quest game. I don't know. This is a horrible quest. It has sneaking. It's sneaking doesn't work in RuneScape, so delete it from the game. But thank you, Mr. Fraxu, for the guide. It was really helpful. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, lad. Do you know about Pokemon battles, isn't it, bruv? Yeah, yeah. I swear that on old school, it takes so much more damage. Take it up. Get it. No, you may. Thank you so much for playing. Boom. Oh, wait, hold up. <clears throat> We're not getting an explosion. Sad scam game. We're going to get the explosion now. Come on, yeah. I'm going to blow up my own cat. Boom, boom. Okay, well, the cat did it. Not being the small ring talk. I just want an explosion, okay? Listen, I'm a simple man. There it is. Rep catchers done actually not too bad the worst part was actually playing this flute thingy at the end because the wiki literally just doesn't tell you where to click and you have to constantly switch between this but thankfully play music one was able to help me out because the other runescape 3 guy from i'm scovid which really useful besides that but it just didn't tell you where to click and i just need it was literally as simple as oh page one click three page two click whatever number and yeah but still find it very funny that there's like an underground hidden um betting area for rap done it was very easy by the way the maze with searches so yeah do your quests bro do your do your rat catch it's not that bad easy game will this be level 160 117 already 117 already we all need to land three more levels nice um as i did in the previous clip as well i'm still on the penguins which today it's wednesday so i can do another like 40 points which is like another 500k experience so yeah today we uh <laughs> we gained a lot of dungeoneering experience oak i have no idea what this mystery egg does but let's smash it oh let's just do yeah go on oh players can sit my load that's actually quite interesting oh oh Oh, okay, hold on. That means Steers and Gothics might actually be useful for stuff. Oh, 130 invention. Well, yeah, I'm just working on something that you will see in a moment. But yes, 130 invention. Guess it's a level? I don't know. You're probably wondering. First of all, why is he showing a chest that is this bad? But also, what is he doing at Barrows? Well, I'm going to try to do a couple of bear runs every single day just so I can get uh, some KC and get it get this done pretty much. <laughs> Gotten's plate body. That's the first unique, which is actually after the first clip. So progress has been made. I was be curious. I've done 171 kills, and this is my log, so it's not really that great. Really wonder how many of these we will get because these are still 40 mil. So we actually will make some money, which will be great. Nice. Let's go do two Gotten's piece. By the way, one thing that's really good about this uh, pop up is when you quick loot, you actually get something indicating you got a loot. Because trust me, I will. 
miss any drop because they're so dark in my inventory. But that's easy money. Yo, in like 30 minutes, 36 minutes or something of doing barrows, obviously I got lucky with two pretty decent pieces. Making 4.4 mil is actually not bad. If I do this every single day and I make like 5 mil a day, that's sick. That's an easy 5 mil a day. That's like 35 mil a week if I don't get a Forsaken Amulet, which is a plus 40 trade up. This might actually make me some unexpected money. <laughs> we need one, one more recipe. One, and then we're done. Then we're done. It's that simple. We just need one. Easy Aram's rope skirt. Let's freaking go, bro. Two days in progress. Obviously, I will still be getting progress. Dude, I got double loot. I got a Torix helm. Holy moly, dude. I got double loot in that chest. I got an Aram skirt and a Torix helm. Yo, we, we vibing, bro. Oh, wow. I did not expect that. I, that that might have been in my email. Dude, that's not a two mil made. Easy game, bro. Just get them all. Back to back. No. Oh, yeah, we did. Dude, we are just too sick. We are just too sick. Carols, Cole, let's go. Dude, that's 800k as well. Dude, we're making bonk, bro. Let's freaking go. A one of four attack. This task is absolutely horrible to find the world for because it just bots and alts and it's really, really annoying. Please check. Let's do something about it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Arixe rope skirt. Nice, beautiful. That is awesome. Dude, that's a good, good item. Let's go. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. What is it? It's a hybrid. Okay, I never knew that actually. Sick. Nice. Progress. Any back to back? <laughs> Yes, Ferrix Bressard, let's go. Dude, farming barrels, bro. Easy freaking game, let's go. Can we get back to back to back? Oh, hold on, hold on, let me close it. Can we get back to back to back? Never lucky. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is my final farm run for forever. We got 120 farming, it's done. No more daily farm runs. Only dailies to do are ports and the rest is not time gate anymore. So the completion escape, Smelling it. <laughs> um, okay, so we got 120 farming, and I thought maybe time to spend our beans. I should have enough. These are the things that I need to buy still. So I needed to buy six of these, or is that the wait? Was that the requirement? In there, done that. Fair enough. Okay, well, that was the requirement. The wiki said that I had to buy six farm totals, but apparently they were not right. Let's see if we can get the other one. Uh, and then here comes the next farming related requirement buying all the pens and everything from Anachronia, which I don't know. Well, I mean, I will be using it as soon as i uh if i ever go in log which i might do no this is not the last one this should be the last one. yes there we go there it is been there done that got the postcard let's go another one everything farming related for completion escape is done also during those farm runs i made 12.6 mil from produce obviously i spent way more on tree seed but that doesn't matter 12.6 mil now yay holy shit let's go let's go let's go <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. My call is, is that the World Guardian? No, no, no. My, my call is that the World Guardian is an actual god. But it's not just revealed. I don't think it's revealed, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Here, and I was like, no, 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 no. Play it, play it, play it, play it. And everyone was just like, dude, why are you so passionate about this? And I was like, dude, just wait for it, man. Just give it some time. Just listen. So guys, listen to this. Yeah. <laughs> You can't make this up, man. We literally did this entire requirement without touching Dungeoneering at all. Let me quickly get the achievement out of the way. That is so funny, man. Let's go. Yeah, this is probably the most expensive price check I can get from my clue opening. Um, This is from 500 Hard, because obviously I still have some stuff in the bank. I'll, I'll be dissembling it and making it into alchemical onyxes, because that is the best way to convert fortune components into direct cash. So this will be a bit higher because of fortune components converting... Like a forged component is worth more than the actual price. So we made a lot of money. And there's the last money made. Nearly another 500 mil to be added to the already huge loot. But honestly, clue scrolls are just incredible. So we'll cast tech will be over 1 mil again, which is really, really nice. That's huge for the account. Okay, so um, it's never good to just have money sitting in your cash pouch. If you can do upgrades, always do upgrade. So I got myself a grim morph for when I finally learned the rotation with uh, Cryptloom and the... FSOA, but for now I'm using a lot of range. So I am going to be using this on getting the Resolation Prayer for range. So there you go. Big upgrade, money spent, still 300 mil left. 
I just went AFK. I don't know if these are actually rare, but I did get another blowpipe feather from the crafting stations in the Dream of Iowa. Oh no! Okay, so on an actual serious note, I did get the essential oils, which is the upgrade to the spa. So that means I can upgrade everything in the base cap now, which is quite good. <laughs> Kaplan top, easy. A few moments later. <laughs> <laughs> lol <laughs> yeah that's uh that's not a bad chest and uh someone else also got a cryptum top so um <laughs> great hour easy 1.3 bill lol a 118 dungeoneering two more levels to lamp i mean um train we're just working on it if you want to know like what requirements are still left you can do exclamation mark com link in the description General, i don't know i just thought it would be a fun idea to uh to do the quest without guides I just thought it would be fun. Do we need to kill all the gem? Um, can I just... okay. Apparently, that's an achievement that you need to do. Well, another achievement to the collection. We are killing some random captains in a dungeon under the ground. I don't think I actually need to kill these for the quest. So we move on. Um, <laughs> Jagex. <laughs> Why is there a zombie hat that is made up by a girl with a freak that has a whole catalog of women's stuff clothing? You do you, my guy. You do you. Oh God, bro. Boom. <laughs> I just got yeeted. <laughs> What do you mean not no flying in RuneScape? You're summoned of devastation from the sky. Yo, bruv, I'm ready, man. I'm ready to be in. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I'm using a... <laughs> I'm using a freaking bird to rain devastation from the sky, aka launch some turds on this, um, on these mobs. That is so funny, man. I can actually hit one of them. That would be insanely good. Boom! Dude, this is the content we come from for, bro. See ya! <laughs> I'm a bomb thrower, bro. I'm on a freaking kill streak. What do you Tactical know about Call of Duty, See ya! The gunners keeping the adventure from docking have been dealt with by Baron from Hatton Crapper. <laughs> what a day, bro. That is amazing. Who rained death on them from the skies. It should I should swim back to Bill and let him know. <laughs> pillage! We shall pillage if the London the surgical mass. Oh yeah, it's a COVID thing, isn't it, bro? Let's restore the ship. Takes a little while. We we'll repair, let's go. Where are you? I will take out your entire battalion. Oh wait, we got him, we got him, we got him. See ya! Come on. You're not getting away, boy. You don't run from me, boy. My girl, my girl, knack. All right, Bill, in your wank bunker, bro, with your... No, 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 don't be, don't be, don't be. Don't feel sorry. There we go. A clockwork syringe done. Dude, that quest was a lot of fun. Um, I, I had a blast with it. So, um, yeah, another quest done and ticked off on the list. Yee, rune memories done. Another quest. I've already done this on my Iron Man, so I just did this with a guide, but eh, it's, it's eh, I can't imagine what this is like when you're colorblind. With the beams and stuff, having to figure that out when you're colorblind, yikes. Insane gamer moment. Let's go. There we go. There's our first contract done. Five contract points. We need um, another 495 to go. <laughs> A there we go. Complete then contract, which means you can get something nice. Here is our first upgrade to the plank box. We need to get this last one to get the uh, completionist achievement. Uh, sorry, this one. So that's like in the total 500 points. So um, yeah, we uh, need to get another 150 and 300 point points. But yeah, that's the requirement that I'm currently working on just passively. So you'll just see some clips from this like throughout the video. Well, two upgrades coming in right here. Unlock Dwarven Cannon. Using the skip will unlock Siege Engine Upgrade for the Dwarf Multi Cannon. We will get that because that will speed up the Slayer task. And I also bought the Double Escape Codex from the money at Croesus because it, it will just be useful and it's really just nice. Gotta go fast, nice and cheap. It just will help with the cooldown on Double Search as well if I ever use Escape with Clues and with Possum. We got double, double, double experience. 104 construction, all from Crozer. And a little bit of contract too. And here is the last purchase for the requirement. Invention gives me the blue. Another completionist requirement done. And another, I guess, semi time gated one. This one is not too bad uh, done. So, pretty much only ports that is really time gated to go. And then the rest is all grindable. It's that time of the month again. No, 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 no. Not that time. But the time that we get our monthly rewards from everything. So, this time we got an umbral chest. 
Will we get anything good this time? Probably not. Lucky armadillo chest plate. What I always want. Right. Okay. Any luck with the oyster? Ah, I mean, it's a fortunate. Any fortunate is good. Giant oyster V2. Never lucky. Bro, I see people pull like four sk uh, skipping tickets, which is like 12 to 14 mil. Well, I mean, I got one fortunate, but still, man, like I never get lucky with these. One crystal key from model... Bro, I could go to Arclays and get like 400 of these, man. Scammed. Scams, scams. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna report this, this thing for scamming, bro. Okay, we did it now. At, at least I'm pretty sure we did it now because I said this the last time as well, and yeah, um, <laughs> we didn't. But I'm pretty sure this is the last one, and that means that we got all the malware recipes from Model of Mod, which is amazing. Less engineering is always good. Yep, we did it. We did it purely of Mother Load Mod. Now let's spend some money. And this should be the last one. There we go. Ocean Master, buy all the advanced potions from the malware district. It's another uh, requirement on. It really sucks spending 10 mil on these because half them are, most of them are not, I'm never using, but hell, it's a requirement and we're one step closer to the completion. Oh man, fuck off. Listen, if you're ever doing Croces, right? Like in like the Croces FC, just a PSA for anyone watching that does Croces in, in FC, you always go an hour. This Kuro Hawk 90 guy literally just 40 minutes in he's like i'll see you guys bye bye bro that is so freaking toxic i don't put someone on blast in my video i don't care bro seriously if you go into the gross fc you're in for an hour if you join a team unless said otherwise he didn't say anything otherwise so putting you on blast my guy after two hours of grinding here's the blast blast shell you can hold up to 80 doses of extreme prayer post in one in which is insane for um obviously so i'm gonna be trying to get that stupid cape but yeah we got the shell. Let's get the rest of it done. I see now why people say this like entire progress takes like two to three hours. Jesus Christ. Getting these positive energies and getting the light cores were an absolute pain to get. But we got it. Let's actually make the blast. This should be the last step. Yes, it is. Blast, blast. Finally made. It's done. It took so long, but it's so, so nice to have. Beautiful. Let's try it. Suck. Please let us be successful. Oh, I hate this game so much. Why do you make such shit time gated content? That is, oh, that is failable, man. Honestly, oh, it's so depressing. It's like, wh where the I hope that the developer who made this piece of content fired. was fired. And if that's it, someone who did great work, I don't care. This sucks. We need to get Aftershock 4 and Equilibrium 2 for my Eldritch Crossbow. Let me make sure that I'm actually potted. I'm pretty sure I clicked on it. Yes, I did. See if we can get lucky. Bro, I hate this game. <laughs> this game. Not even Aftershock, bro. Why? Why? So it's painful when you need to do some work on it. Fuck million G2. Let me just make sure it's up online. It is. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Fall up. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Invention, Gabe. Invention. Invention. The chance of extra components or better components. I don't know. I'm, I'm always just where it is. Dragon Rider Lance. It was fun for like the four trash runs but <laughs> it hurts so much let's get this potion oh bro please 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 let us get it man it would be so amazing come on please i like hate it. this game so much oh this is gonna be so freaking painful putting a two billion gp weapon into an essence of finality oh let's do it oh this is so painful but it's so worth it because it's so good and i'm gonna fix this that because it's such a mess but oh okay let's do it okay i'm gonna give it one more try i'm gonna disassemble these this will give me 12 components in total hold up let me get my adventure cape out uh these and these items and then when i do so um i have two rolls to do it and we'll see if it's hurt oh by the way 131 the invention let's go <laughs> easy boy Please, please be what we need. Go, oh, bro. Oh, dude, that's exactly what we need. Let's freaking go, man. Oh, mate, this crossbow is so sexy now. Right, let's learn how to use it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm pretty sure that this is the um story mission. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. Um, this is a story mission, but I'm not sure if this is the last one. Because if it is, we are done with this trash content. Or we might have to do one more. We have to do one more. So we're one step closer to finishing it. Because I know that this was the second one. I wasn't sure if it was the second or third one. But we did it. One more to go. And then we're done. The keen died individual upon you guys might have already spotted the umbral chest in my inventory on the last clip. I was debating. Should I open these on stream? Or should I open these for the video? And I was like... 
you know what after the depression last time of opening these we're gonna do it again in 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 the video so um yeah let's let's open it i actually don't know what i want i guess just money yeah i see people get like 100 mil 200 mil from these and i just never get anything nice it's always something useless like huge lamp chest okay that is that 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 sounds good i mean that's that sounds like free dungeoneering experience right i don't know how many but let's see if if it actually is worth in a second purified sword token i mean that is probably like 7k bro like 171k and 73 gp like the sevens were right Th that's what i mean like bro i always just get things that i just don't need and don't want bro just give me something that is useful purified staff token bro yet again there's probably 100k or something oh would you look at that 133k yeah open huge lamp up okay we got huge lamps of all sorts of variety cool put them all freaking dungeoneering because dude literally like no joke like i barely train any dungeoneering oh bro celebration lamp coming through and all the experience you see in dungeon oh bro bro nah hey, what's going on yo i'm okay there we go i was like dude i'm just i'm just gonna farm 99 dungeoneering 120 there we go and that is that done as well. Now it's double experience and we're on to Slayer. Let's do it. So around double experience, I usually do like to sell my loot tap or my Croesus tap because, you know, that's when most of these scaling supplies are worth the most. Like especially these dwarf beats are selling for a lot. I should have sold them a little bit earlier, but hey, oh, it is what it is. Um, I was a bit late because I didn't really play over the last few days, but yeah. Uh, I made 163 mil in just regular loot. It's obviously without the coins, without the big pages, and without obviously the tops that you saw me get. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update on that as well. So I decided to sell the majority of my loot tab just to see how uh, how much we can make from it and how much we actually will make from getting from pretty much 112 because I'm it's like I'm very close to 112 Slayer. Um, so from 112 to 120 Slayer and see how much we will make, especially during double experience, if we can get it all done, which would be really nice. Here's a following price check coming in. As I said, the majority is just junk items that don't really matter. But yeah, another price check coming in, another 10 mil. For anyone who's watching this and who doesn't mind alking or want to make some money, buy Dragon Battle Axe. These are dropped by Nightmare Creatures. People are always doing Nightmare Creatures and they go for 108k. You're probably thinking, why are you wondering this? This is a 12k elk profit if you can get them around this price. So if you ever need something to elk, AFK, like if you can buy 100 an hour, Oh, you can only buy 10 now. Never mind. Okay, I see why people don't out these. Never mind. Stupid chef. Another price. Where did the money come from here? Is it the Pernix pieces? I think so. Yeah, it's like 24 mil in Pernix pieces. But still, great. Interesting. Okay, that that that's a lot of money. I did not expect that. I mean, Lentidines are also 7 mil. So, um, yeah, some, some great money here as well. Wow. Okay, did not expect this. I mean, this uh, uh, fair. And lastly, to finish it off, I know there's some other stuff in my inventory, but these are going into the dissembler for components. We have our Alk. That's another 30 mil. We made bank with that last. Like Slayer, this was pretty much all Slayer. Obviously, part of my Cross thing as well, but still, that's pretty decent. And what did I need all this money for? Obviously, an Inquisitor staff, because I no longer have my FSOA and I need a good staff to do Slayer with. Any Inquisitor staff is amazing for that. Probably even better than the Armadil staff, if I'm going to be completely honest. So, um, yeah, definitely, definitely a good upgrade for my Slayer. And I'm going to quickly perk it out as well. So, give me a second. This one goes out to everyone who thinks I'm extremely lucky with everything. Look at how many tries it cost me to get the P6 genocidal. Jesus. And here it is. It's back. My Inquisitor staff. I actually got this staff made on my own from archaeology when I went from about 20. But there it is. Precise 6 genocidal and Aftershock 4. I think that's pretty decent for Slayer. Let's get grinding. Okay, sick. We got another trio mission uh, coming in. This is not a storyline I think I even started, so this won't even... Uh, obviously, it's progress, and this story mission is nice to uh, to get sorted and done. But um, yeah, it's, um, it's nice. But I, as I said, I don't think I've started this one, so I don't think this will help me towards my completion. But hey, the more rolls we get on trio missions, the better, in my opinion. Hey, the first level coming in from the grind. 111 magic, 9 more levels to go for 120. I don't think we'll get it during this plan, but still, nice to get. 112 Slayer, let's go. Do we unlock anything with this i don't think so no but hey ho it is a f another level added no we don't get anything um to the collection i am horrifically bored because i kind of picked up an old school addiction literally two days before this grind and playing legends arches like pokemon so i'm just sitting here like bro i just want to play those games but i need to get this grind done so we're gonna get some hours in anyway but yeah 112 Slayer. Yo, I just got the Petrol. <laughs> I'm, I'm just AFKing and I just got the Petrol. 
It's like, okay, done. Go, yeah, let's go. I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm 95% sure. <laughs> it is the final mission. If this completes, I think we're done. <laughs> yes! We did it! Let's go! Oh my god, yes! 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 We are done with this requirement! Oh, yes! Let's go! Oh my god, I can't explain to you how happy I am that we got this requirement done. Because honestly, this requirement is the one that like, it's to me the most difficult one. Look, I am slightly burned out of the game at this moment in time. I really just want to play old school RuneScape, Pokemon and other games. But bro, Trip to the East being done means that we pretty much have no time gated things left anymore. And we could just grind everything out. So let's freaking go, bro. Why do I always get clips at Godward's Dungeon? It's the fourth one and I didn't get any of the other one. Second of all, <laughs> why do I always get clips here and during recording? And why is it always a duplicate? Like, seriously, like, this is like the seven millionth time that happened. Like, I've recorded three Godward's Dungeon clips before and they have all been or met with a drop. What is going on, bro? Like, genuinely, I know I said it jokingly in the last clip where this happened, if you remember, in, like, a previous video. But recording for a video is meta to get Godfrey's Dungeon 1 drops, although it's actually my fourth drop, so I don't know how happy I'm about it. But, hey, I guess I need to edit it out. Yay! <laughs> oh, bro, this alchemist is going to make me so much money. Well, there's a plane flying over, which I hope you don't hear. 17 million already, and then another 15 million coming in without doing anything. Let's go. Okay. Oh, no. Is this going to be one of these ones? Oh, no. Okay. You know what? We're going to learn all the spells. I'm going to do it now in case I mess up or something or something goes wrong to make sure I still have time to buy living plants. Because technically, this was the only other time gated requirement I still had left. So if anything, this is smart to do now, I guess, because as I said, if I mess this up, I have some time to fix it. So let me I'll be back when I get the actual requirement done. And there should be the final one. Uh, okay. Oh, <clears throat> there should be the final one. Hold up. <laughs> Ye unlock all lunar spells, which is amazing that we finally got this done. But bro, can we just appreciate one thing? This shop is so unclear when you're buying everything with the spells because it it sounds like you need four hundred thirty thousand points for the bar borrowed power, but that's just all the points you need in total. Anyway, we still got twenty one k left, and I'm never gonna use this ever again. So yeah, limit farm completed. Also, bro, um, can we can we just appreciate or well, bro? She looks like she's on some crazy drugs my guy anyway sorry that's just an observation i was making bro what is a chimp ice enhancer bro <laughs> i don't i know what chimp i isn't that from like that one quest from with do no evil i believe it's called where you need to bring the ice to, across gillanor without melting it or something bro that is the what is <laughs> anyway that's the coolest fucking story i've ever heard in my entire life that's insane is it, can i hear it again do you have time that's quite a riddle yes would I love to figure it out? Yes. Can I be asked? No. Search jars of body parts, bro. Are we playing Outlast or something? I love how she's just wielding a harp, bro. Like, yo, let me just pull up with my harp in it, bro. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I would love to know what's going on. Too much to read, bro. Not reading books here. This is definitely the start of something new. But there it is. Twilight of the Gold. Complete. Wait, what? Where are the rewards? <laughs> the quest is not over. What? The next update is going to be a boss fight against Zamora, right? And what's going to happen during the fight? Actually, can we... That's better. That thing is coming. So as I was asking. Oh, huh. I need someone to explain what's going on in this quest. <laughs> there it is. There it actually is. Let's go. Okay, so what did I get? Quest, Ring of the Abyss. Five Chaos reroll. Damage received in the Zamorakian Lord of Chaos encounter. That's sick. Okay, so those are the reroll tools. Okay. Magic lamb. Arena can be used to turn you into a grotesque demon. Wait, what? <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh no, I cannot walk around in it. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Okay, that's quite sick. I rate that. I rate that. It's very useless, but it's sick. There we go. Twilight of the Gods completed. Right, that is the Pride event done. I, I thought I include this clip because I think it's generally important for a game like RuneScape to do something like this because obviously we have a diverse player base and 
I feel like everyone should be heard and with a cute little event like this where you get this uh, banner and the crocs which I can't put on because of fashion scape but yeah I, I really like it kudos to Jagex shout out to Jagex you probably see this in like two months time when it's not available anymore but it doesn't matter so holy poor stick bro am I supposed to be hitting people with this that is an actual collection log why again the Dormic boots were this makes no sense Ooh, I got a Grimoire page from one of the lovely. That is an easy 5.8 million. Jesus. I will probably be keeping it because I have a Grimoire myself. That's really nice, to be fair. My first one in like 1500 kills. 113 Slayer, which means we're halfway there. Bit of a grind. Well, not a bit of a grind. It's actually a really big grind. And I thought it would be a lot better than it is. But hey, we grind it out and we will get it. I have never had this happen to me, but I... The wise old man was just like, you know what? I, I'm so sick and tired of my bookcases. I just destroyed them all. And I just have to, you have to make them again for me. Okay, fair enough. I'll do so. This should be our final shelf or whatever we need to make for the completion of this piece of content. If my calculations were right, which wouldn't surprise me if they weren't, but uh, let's get it. Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. Exactly. Complete 100 construction contracts and 500 points. Calculations were right. Let's get the reward. And here's our final upgrade to the plank box giving us the achievement absolute planker bro lovely lovely onto the yak twist stick i guess i need to stop making if i if i don't take risks i'm fine to be fair look at the amount of food i've left easy very clean kill wasn't the quickest one very clean kill oh my god oh oh we got the ancient emblem and the door for gloves oh whoa okay that's first of all that's 32 mil Second of all, that means I have another inventory support. Oh, let's go. Let's go, dude. That's sick. Yes. Hey, Burnix Gloves. Today is the... <laughs> I guess today is Glove Day, bro. Uh, Torva Gloves and per Burnix Gloves are sick, Phil. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's collection lock. We gained two collection lock slots today, which is beautiful. Um, however, six mil is not that great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, congrats. <laughs> I was just saying in Dutch to myself, like, oh, that must be a new record. Well, <laughs> it's also Torva Boots. It's a duplicate. But it is 33 mil. <laughs> Let's freaking go, dude. <laughs> what a way to start the day. That was a really, really good kill. Let's go. That's my first sub. That's a 17.4 second improvement that's my first sub two minute kill let's go i'm starting to get the hang a little bit of this ecb i should be able to get it below two minutes but a good start definitely definitely a good start oh my god pernix below oh dude that's another uh collection log beautiful they're not worth that much are they no quite funny though we got <laughs> torva gloves torva boots pernix gloves pernix boots next up virtus gloves and virtus boots let's go but that's collection lock piece slot added which is beautiful so if we go to our tab here beautiful i was about to say if we get some rng here which we're not getting then we could face but we didn't yikes i clicked the fucking button bruv what the fuck do you mean bro that is on dude honestly the, the last step was just on me sitting at low health i just literally clicked power burst vitality and the game was just like fuck you bro Hey, if you're enjoying this video, consider subscribing. YouTube is telling me that 86% of you guys are not subscribed, and I'm trying to get as close to 2k subscribers by the end of the year, so it would be highly appreciated. Enjoy the rest of the video. Oh yeah, like as well. I'm recording just to make sure that this isn't like 120 Dungeoneering and I miss it, but I'm pretty sure it isn't, right? No, not even close. That was a lot of experience. That was 2.7 million experience. Nice. Also guys, slay level incoming. Let's go 114 slayer one more until we can actually do the beautiful magister very curious about the boss see how it goes let's just try and get this uh, kbd locked on well the slayer task anyway thank you i think i will not my next time at zuck will not be a flawless run i can already tell that i'll tell you that but hell we'll see <laughs> wait did we just get a new record with 1.2 seconds Fair enough. Okay, cool. 10.2 seconds, bro. People killed us in one take, so that's slow. Uh, depends. If I get um, if I get the cape and FSOA again, I'm going to buy one back. New record again? 
With points in bro, we got a nine second kill. <laughs> From my first boss that I ever killed to a nine second kill. Insane. <laughs> I know it just gave me the but still it's fine. Oh, at least something's going good. I tried to talk, I hate my life. It's not gonna happen. Somehow we're going to do it somehow, but fuck me, that content should be deleted from the game because wave content sucks in any game. Thank you for listening. Worthless, just like the rest. I just want to enjoy the game, man. Like, I generally wasn't having fun. I was literally not logging in because of that stupid staff and because of talk, so. You have failed, as expected. Interesting. You return. Oh no, oh no. Bro, take him out, take him out, bro. Do it. Woo! Okay, we got a kill. We got a Zuck kill. But that was far from flawless. I don't know how much I have left. Oh my lord, bro. Woo! Okay, um, I was practicing, practicing Zuck and I got the scripture of four. <laughs> I believe that's 700 fucking mil. Oh, that's, it's not that expensive. Oh my lord, it's 354. <laughs> Dude, I think I got it down. I think I can do the waves without food. And I have no idea how much is left in um, my freaking yak. But I think I did it, man. Oh my god, that is actually insane. <laughs> that is crazy, bro. Okay, I think I can do Zog. I, I can pretty much do the waves without supplies. And yes, I have like an 8-way switch with me. But it worked. So, let's try this. New it is it. Yes! Let's go, bro! Finally, man! Oh, that burned me out so hard from the fucking game, bro. But I finally fucking got the igneous stone, bro. Let's go, man. I did it. I freaking did it, man. Where is it? <laughs> Where actually is it? There it is. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Back to back tapes. Let's freaking go. And that was actually an improvement as well, like an actual minute. It was beautiful, but we got the back to back. Let's see if we can get back to back to back now. Because <laughs> uh, I want all three tapes and be done here, bro. A50 jets. Yeesh. Let's go, bro. Oh, we done all three of them. We don't have to come back here. Well, well, I mean, I guess we have to come back for hard mode, but that will not be for a very, very, very long time. But let's freaking go. We've made 410 mil. But there is our second igneous stone and there's one in the bank. Let's freaking go. We're done here. Let's go. <laughs> anyway, we did it. We got the three capes. Dude, that kiln is so terrible, man. We want to make, first of all, we want to make the mage cape because that's the one that I wanted the most. That's what I did this for mainly because that's what, dude, that's so dark. I hate dark inventory icons. Then we're going to make the range one because, well, I mean, we need it. And then obviously we're also going to make the melee one and then that makes all the Zuck capes. Hold on. Let me actually take off my cosmetic. Hold up. Let me clear the cosmetic. Apply. And then we're just gonna, you know. Boom! That's one. Boom! It's two. Boom! That's three. Well, it's next to dancing in front of me. Oh, mate. That's so awesome, man. I'm so happy that we got them. So, yeah, that is the uh, Tsar Saga done. Oh, I'm so happy, bro. You have no idea. God, <laughs> treacherous dog! <laughs> Not bad.
easy new personal best and if it wasn't actually for um the like laying down phase it would have even been better but that's with 6.6 .6 seconds dude the seven god ball is shredding him so i just uh put it in for mid price and it sold for 435 mil thank you for the money ladies and gentlemen this could be it this could be the end of oh sorry you bent it off well i'm gonna i moet even a clip record it fam i couldn't tell you who i was talking to what was that clip ladies and gentlemen this could be the end of the lampaneering grind Hopefully these lamps, I don't want to use all of them because I need like 600k experience. Zami actually gives some decent experience, but I just want to see if this gives me it. There it is. 120 lampaneering. We're done. We never have to do it again in our entire lives. Unless we start an Iron Man. But we did it. Let's freaking go. Beautiful to have done. Now let's whack everything else onto, um, onto Slayer. Which is beautiful, man. Oh. Not that I really want to specifically lamp Slayer, but it's just nice to be able to lamp something else. Yeah. One more to go. Easy. Easy game, boy. Easy game. I just did Zuck for fun. Who is this guy, man? Who is this guy? But um, yeah, there's like 43 mil on the chest. Holy moly, that's a lot of elite clues. Well, let me just quickly bank them. That's another igneous stone. But yeah, I just did um, Zuck for fun. Who is this guy? But that's 44 mil on the chest as well. Beautiful. Easy. New record with like three minutes. Holy shit. 26 minutes. That is actually beautiful. Not a flawless run. Easy game. I'm doing Zuck for fun. Who would have thought... 50 mil on the chest, by the way. Give me those. Uh, another elite clue scroll. That's nice as well. But yeah, the loot, the loot here is, is great. But yeah, another igneous stone. 82 elder trolls so of full. I'm going to go back to Zuck probably to camp it for some money. But um, I had 82 from my, I think it's like 6kc or something. So let's see what we get from it. Just we'll spam click it. That's the best thing to do. Only two pieces of the quiver so far. Okay, this is a bit disappointing. I expected a little bit more quiver pieces. All right, so how much did we make from 82 Elder Droves? I mean, that's still 20 mil. So I'm trying to buy something and I will show you that hopefully in the next clip. But I mean, 20 mil from like six kills or something. It's so such good money. It's ridiculous money, actually. I think besides the Demon Slayer boots over here, the majority of this, besides maybe like a little bit of the large bladed blunt salvage, um is all from zuck so that just goes to show how great money it is here's like another 84 mil mainly from ed3 i still have some relics that need to be out but overall um pretty decent if i'm gonna be honest money is there money is for sure there okay the codex of lost knowledge is bought and we still have so much money left let's go um we're gonna restore it because i can just make the greater sunshine ability codex untradeable because i have the components let's make it then we're going to read it now we can learn how to use the fsla let's go wait what is the skions of erebus is that lore find the screens of ability dropped by the abyssal lord okay no idea what it does oh let's go we got the key nice okay that's nice easy game boy just reading a comment okay fair enough nice that is a comp requirement and also it's just really nice to be able to go to i think it's that gate that gate there whatever okay here is the abyssal asylum unlock yes do i get an achievement as well you need to go through nice well anyway we got it beautiful that takes so much time like oh my god Hey, there is the first level come. Oh, 114. Wow, I thought it was like 112. That's not too bad, actually. 114 magic. Very curious to see what the magic level will be after the Slayer grind. I'm assuming like 116, 117, maybe. We'll see. Oh, we I missed the Slayer level. When did I miss the Slayer level? When did I miss it? Start reading chat. Well, hey, guys. 116 Slayer. Let's go. <laughs> Yikes. Because the fixture does more damage. Also, I was reading such a funny Reddit post earlier. Um, it was I looked up what's better, the Inquisitor Staff or the Effect Shot of Armadillo, and it was just 
I think pre-release. Bro, we got a full Triskelion in, um, what's that? Like, nine kills? That's insane. Fair enough. Whilst I'm googling the Magister's Pet, 107 attack on I swear to god, I'm always getting um, attack levels over here. In this area, whether that's here or at the other Donnies that are over there, but 107 attack. Hey hey Yo, bro, attack him in it, bruv. Yeah, bruv. Yeah, yeah. You got this. You got this, bro. Easy game, boy. Boy. Go crazy, boy. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen. The first level I did not miss, 118 Slayer. I missed 117 because I was in a podcast. Um, I can put a link in the description if you still want to watch it, if I don't forget while doing this. And the other one I just fully missed. But 118 Slayer, two more levels to go. Okay, at first I was just going to save these for like a week or two weeks or whenever I got 120 Slayer. But I kind of need the extra bonus experience and just experience in general. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to hand it in. Ooh, no gold balloon. On my screen, that looks slightly gold because I have Eflux on. If you don't know what it is, it pretty much d d like destroys all the blue light, making white things look a bit more yellowish. But let's just you know, spam click these. I don't really care for those. Right. Okay. Those are bonus slams, which I wanted because let's be honest, it's all we need for Slayer. Slayer's going well, by the way. Like it's, it's, it's a very beautiful 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 grind i will just keep these in the inventory because let's be honest the other ones will give that as well let me just organize the inventory real quick okay let's get on to the blue ones i guess just spam click as well there's not really anything from these that are really special is there no it doesn't look like it i mean extra bones experience for slayer which is always nice like i said that's the main reason why i'm opening them now uh cool let's just use that use that as well okay well let's open the purple ones bonus star was that five mil nice okay well i mean that's great i guess another bonus star and two large xp lamps i mean not what i wanted but in general how much bonus experience did i get another 500k i mean hey it helps it's not that much well actually hold up it's a little bit more 600k well <laughs> Eh, tight. <sighs> yeah, I might have missed another level. 119 Slayer. One more level to go. I'm not going to miss 120, I promise. 118 hit points, I didn't miss a level, let's go! I literally just looked back and I saw it, I was like, let's go. 117 magic, three more magic levels to go for 120. Obviously you can do maths, but... I'm not going to get 120 during this grind because I'm already halfway to 120 Slayer, which is pretty decent, actually. Oh, Crystal Impaling. Come on, get it. Get it. Come on. Catch it. Catch it, you nitwit! There we go. Imping around. Collect one of each Impling. Let's go. Thank you so much, Steph, for helping me out. Also, shout out to Mr. Rambo because he also helped me out find some. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. I want to say it was a grind, but it was a bit of a grind, not going to lie. There it is. 120 slayer coming in the final big big requirement before getting the comp cape so let's get it honestly let's freaking get it is there anything else yes sir give me the master honestly this cape is really beautiful let me just go into um into this appearance a wardrobe customization Ah! Okay, this cape is really beautiful. Let me just clear customization. There we go. Oh, it does look pretty. Not that much, but I guess it's somewhat. It's like the majority of the loot. I guess I made like 40, 50 mil or something in total. Eh, not too bad. Finally buying the master skill caps as well. It was about time, honestly. Does it do anything interesting? No, not really. I don't care. Too stylish. Um, Do you have any more kittens? Okay, this should be... The final requirement for the Varric Mediums. There we go. A lick of paint. There should be one more coming in. There we go. Medium task done. There's the hard task done. Whilst I make some um, shifting tomb teleports. <laughs> that one. And it's here, I believe. And it's unlocking that gate. Pick lock cage. I'm pretty sure that this should be the trim requirement. Or the trim requirement. 
requirement for this task? Yes. Okay, cool. That means that we got it done. Please let it be here. Yes. Okay, cool. That is the medium tasks done. We can pick up the upgraded quiver at Gwir. Beautiful. Okay, that's done. Like, I'm really got used, like, I got so used to people calling me chef that it sometimes sounds weird when people call me by my name. Give me monthly depression number two. Uh, I'm <laughs> At least it's got six hours for the collection, but... Ah! Okay, um, I just wanted to show this. It's a bit of a random clip, but I need to fill up this harmony pillar. And I was like, you know what? I might just cheat the system and just do it via the underwater monthly oyster thingy but that clearly doesn't work because i still want to get 27k xp and i got way more than the required 50k experience at the oyster so if you ever wondered if it works it doesn't which sucks okay there is the annihilator title done bit of a weird clunky one if i'm gonna be honest because i did this before and i swear that they were all on me but apparently they weren't and you need to do the boss fight of the quest and not like the regular Nile, so that's a bit strange. Maybe RuneScape should specify that, especially in the requirements, but it's done. I'm kind of working on like the more easy requirements at the moment, so I can just make the list a little bit shorter. We're getting there though. All right, another one done. Needless from Skips, which <laughs> I like that. But also this one, Bill and Ben's Exelon Joint Venture. Very weird that I didn't do this. Apparently I missed some steps because you had to talk to the NPC with these like resources in your inventory. And I didn't do that even though I did this on release, but oh well, we've done it now. On to the next one. Honestly, if if your name would be Henrietta, you'd probably be angry with your parents. Like literally. Like no offense if anyone's watching that is like called Henrietta, but pff, that's your name, bro. F in the chat, bro. F. I just realized you just, you have to motivate him to cross over here, right? And you say, do it for the girl. Bro, that girl is his sister, man. What What in the yeehaw is this, man? Is that they're going to Yeehaw University or something? Yee yee. <laughs> I feel like this is the most self-aware thing. I pointed this out in my Iron Man video as well, but if you didn't see that, like this, I bet they didn't test it. I love how self-aware this quest is, by the way. It's it's really good. My guy is smart. He just literally just cut the tripwire. Why why don't we do that in quests, man? Look at him. He's just like, oh wait, I have scissors on my tool belt. Let's actually use them. Why don't we do this? Huh? That's his quest done, but not my quest done. There is my quest done. However, that's actually not the main reason why i wanted to do this quest believe it or not give me the lamps and stuff do i care no 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 you can have those um the main reason is because there's actually a comp requirement locked behind this quest obviously i need it for quest cape but it's also locked behind some just put notification on uh, i like that cape i want that cape let's do i think dragon scale dust is worth the most question mark ah uh, to be fair, i don't want to care just give me that is the requirement that I needed to be get done. On to the next one. There's head of the family done. I need this for well completion requirements. So thought, you know what? Let's actually knock out all the uncharted isles or whatever it's called, Eastern Lands. This this area pretty much. I just I'm not a fan of this area. It really feels like they just needed to fill it with content, and because everything is untradeable, so you have to interact with the content. But it actually is quite boring, uninteresting content, and we don't really care about it. But hey, oh, this is what it is. On to the next quest. Let's just finish them all off. Yo, this looks actually, this looks sick, mate. This is Spirit Realm in one of the R quests. See, now, this is actually interesting. Like, I had to kill some mobs and then, you know, go to the Spirit Realm. It's, this is interesting. Did this add something to it? The other one was just trash. However, 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 just a quick clear thingy is when you get these books make sure to actually slay all the three separate monsters the wiki doesn't really specify which one you actually will need to slay it kind of says like they are equally likely to drop it making it sound that you can kill any but don't make sure you take on each single one of them but this looks cool there is spiritual enlightenment mini quest done. Next up, Jet Hunter. 
Actually, also, 103 Hunter coming in whilst I'm uh, going for these turtle shell balls for this next quest in the Waiko Uncharted Isle series. Levels? Three levels, I guess? There is Jet Hunter done. Another one in this series done. I think, is, is this the last one? Uh, no, I need to do Eye for an Eye. Is there another one after this? Let me see. Eye for an eye. No, this seems to be the last one. So let's finish eye for an eye. With an actual. Oh. <laughs> Dude, there was like a whole health bar loading and I just one hit it on. Okay, fair enough. Let's finish off this quest. And there is I for an eye done. And I believe that this is the final quest, at least on the wiki. I can't see anything else. So beautiful. Time to um time to finish off this um these requirements. Let's go to another one. There's the Heartbringer done. I actually didn't properly look and there's like actually like another four that I need to do after this one, but they all seem quite simple to do. Knocks on wood because I yeah, anyway, let's let's finish them. There is two elites own done. Another quest in this great quest. Oh, to be fair, it wasn't too bad. It was just a fetch quest, I guess. Um, I need this for the quest called Final Destination. Isn't it like a horror film series? But next up, I think is Damage Control and Ghost from the Past, which sounds very menacing. Let's uh, let's see how menacing those quests are. And there's Damage Control done. This quest, whoa! Dude, there were two items that I had to collect that were just literally pretty much invisible. Even at my friend Rambo, Mr. Rambo, go check him out in the description down below. Um, helped me just trying to find it and I literally had to watch a video on it because they are that poorly visible. Jagex, do something for us visually impaired people, please. And here's Ghost from the Past is done. Very, very quick quest. Literally travel to the island, talk to the Quartermaster, talk to two other NPCs. Go to the watchtower, talk to another NPC and return and that's it. One more to go, I think. Now I think I'm actually true. Wait, right, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm checking final destination. I've done all the previous quests. Is there anything else? Requires quest final destination. Not currently required for any quest or mini quest. Okay, that should be the final one then. Okay, and this should be the final quest for real, for real now. <laughs> In this area. Uh, what are we putting it on? We're going to put it on some rare yeah um nothing much to say i think it's done now a lot of requirements are done because each mini quest is actually a comp requirement which is really nice yeah this this one has gone up a little bit today because i'm just trying to knock out all the small completions requirements okay so this list is getting shorter and shorter okay this should be the achievement there it is family spear tree reunite all the spear trees by the way this spear tree is huge bloody hell but yeah, pretty much just needed to plant all spear trees, which is now done. I get a farming lamp, which I don't really need. Yeah, nothing to say about this one. Well, that was a very difficult mini quest. Father and son done. Beautiful. Give me the medium hunter lamp. Quickest quest ever. Well, not the quickest quest ever. That would have been Cook's Assistant in the original RuneScape or Dork's Quest. But three steps. E easy requirement. This is literally the easiest comp requirement. I did not even know that I didn't even know that that prayer actually existed in this game. That surprised me, but don't really need it, my friend. Don't really need it. Just waiting to do big chin chompa. So I'm just doing them once. It literally take two seconds to complete right now. There is the big chin chompa achievement done. That was very stressful because I have terrible eyesight, and it's very difficult for me to see those stupid small little things. But hey ho, it is what it is. We got it done. Are there rewards any good? I'm just looking for my Iron Man, really. Ah, I don't think so. It is what it is, though. It is done. We can leave. And there is Hope Spirit's Will done. 13k prayer experience. More importantly, another mini quest done that is on the list of mini quests. I think you start to see a theme here of this video. My mic was definitely not muted for this clip, your audio is just broken, but there's the Lost Toys mini quest done. Very interesting finding those toys, but yeah, on to the next requirement. Definitely your fault. This is the last memory of this... <sighs> well... <clears throat> mini quest. Bro, honestly, this quest is so long. This took me like three hours to complete. 
At this point, just call it an actual quest, bro. This is honestly a piss take. Just... I had to do Divination for like 3 hours, bro. If I knew this beforehand, I would have done this before I got 99, but no. It's done however. I did make like a cheeky 3 mil though on these incandescent energies. I'm probably gonna keep them because I need them for borders anyway in the future if I do some scaling. What is going on? This is probably the most confusing quest. What? Wait, wait what? Huh? Fair enough. Give me the mini quest completion. There is the one foot in the grave mini quest. Which made me, hold up, hold up, 236k, beautiful. Which is just going to go in the bank because I actually use it. Really. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, consider subscribing. YouTube is telling me that 86% of you guys are not subscribed. And I'm trying to get as close to 2k subscribers by the end of the year. So it would be highly appreciated. Enjoy the rest of the video. Oh yeah, like as well. Okay, there's one dinosaur down. I actually need to take out all the dinosaurs that I haven't done. I've done like two i believe but i've been just really arrogant just being like oh yeah i can just quickly do it and then just get caught for no reason but oh it was 21 sharks though nice and two of that meat okay so we can try the next one in line did i pick the right color question mark question mark question mark come on shoot him shoot him shoot him quicker please oh my god take so long <gasps> yes i did let's go another one done Let's skin him easy again. Bro, they look so sick, these dinosaurs. Honestly, look at them, man. That's so sick. Great content. Great. Love it. Yes. Advance. Which magic skill? Magic? Which melee skill? Attack? I'm very confused. Which range skill? Ranged? Okay. I've never done this before. Is this it? That should be the requirement, right? There we go. Oh, wow. Um... Fair enough. Okay, I didn't know if I was able to do it, but there, there there, it is. It's done. Beautiful. Okay, I thought I actually had to grind. That's why I was looking into it, thinking like, oh, maybe I could just AFK something while I watch football. But no, I can't because it's done. Nice. Well, this is another very easy one that I apparently looked over, but this is it. Recover, draconic, decoctions, whatever. Yeah, another one done. Nice. Let's go. Um, let's see if there's another easy one that I can just buy. Wow, why, have I, why haven't I done this? I'm an idiot. We know, we know. So I have this requirement, right? Potion for a lady, which says, Help Lady Melway retrieve her lost potion recipes. If you see, open the shop, oh, <clears throat> open the recipes, and you can see I've got all of them. Apparently, I need to talk to her, ask her what can I do here with a melee, super melee potion in my inventory, and then ask her about potion recipes. And apparently, this is how you complete the... Like, it doesn't say that anywhere in the game. I had to wiki that. How am I supposed to know that when I'm just playing the game and I don't use the wiki? Please fix this, Jagex. And that is, I think, 100 ore, right? Yes, 100 ore. So I'm doing the challenge. Everything is awesome. As you can see, I need to ore these... Um, I need to ore? I need to mine these ores. Obviously, these ones will take a bit longer. I'm going to test if actually Stone Spears work on these ones. Because obviously, with these earlier ones, it's not really necessary. But interesting challenge. Very simple to do that. And there is 100 tin ore completed. Let's move on to the iron ores. There's a last 25 iron ore done for the 100 iron ore onto Mithra. And there's 100 Mithra ores added to the collection. Onto, I think, Luminite is next. And that, I think, should be... Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so Stone Spirits work. Yeah, that's incredible. Okay, then we can easily zoom through this. There's that 100 rune ore. It's still weird to me, man, to be able to mine rune ore so quickly, so easily, so efficiently. Obviously, they're worth nothing anymore, but it's still strange, especially if you've been playing the game for a while, because if you don't know, if you happen to watch this after you did the, the, the smithing, mining, rework thingy, Rune used to be level 90, and it used to be, or 85, I believe, and it used to be in, like, deep wilderness, and you could only get one or two a world. Crazy. And there is 100 Luminite Ore onto the next one, which is... Or e Calcite Ore, which I have no idea where to find, but I'll figure it out. And there's 100, well, 101 of that ore as well, of the, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce the Ori Ores. One more of these Dragolith ores to go, and then all that is left is Phasmatite, 
and Dark Amanika, I think it's called. Um, I actually quite like this challenge, not gonna lie. It's, it sounds a bit weird, but I feel like it kind of gives a purpose, especially to a main to mine all the ores and, you know, go through it. And especially if you got 99 mining before the rework. I didn't get it before the rework, but I got it by just doing Saren Stones. So, yeah. Ah. And there is 100 Phasmatite. All that's left is the dark one, uh, dark, dark Amanika, and then we're good. We're actually good with this requirement. Beautiful. This is a bit of a uh, strange requirement. I like to do it on all my accounts, but there it is. The um, My Sick 4 Tick Trick, aka just click for one minute straight, which... Eh. And there is everything is awesome, done. Piece of capacity of your ore box by mining 100 of each ore. It's done. I'm gonna try and figure out what these sentence scrolls are because I'm actually quite curious. This is pretty much the loot from getting this requirement, which is actually 2.5 mil, which I know is in like an hour and a half because it's an entire football game. But hey, I made two and a half out two and a half mil doing a comp requirement. Please don't mind the like 15 mil I spent on the previous one, but that's not the point. We made money on this one. Did we? Did we? Come on, go on. Execution. Easy game, boy. Easy game. All right. Uh, Dragon Metal Roulette, I guess. Can we get it? Can we get it? Any gamers? Nope. People are. Oh, another good bet. There it goes down, mate. See ya. Okay, let's loot it. We're actually on Roar, so. Also, I kind of just want to just go on a slight little rant, which I already did on stream, but. Um... Also, loot this. Can we um, maybe do an update on the map of Anachronia? Because it's genuinely unreadable on where to go. Like, it took me like 10 minutes to find this. Like, finding this was more difficult than actually finding anything else in the game. Like, how are you supposed to read this map? Like, where can I go? Yes, okay, cool. That is the final dinosaur done. And there should be an achievement, like, right here. Oh, maybe I need to skin it. Hold up. <laughs> I don't think it fully registered as me having completed it yet. But let me register it right now. Congratulations, you skinned all creatures. Eh? La fuck, da fuck. That should be one. Is it done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is one of Big Fishy Boy done. But yeah, it's ridiculous that you need to do this 10 times for comp. But there are many requirements that are a bit stupid to do for comp. I might actually make a... Um, this is actually a really good fishing experience. Or hunting experience, I guess. Yes! Oh, dude, that last one was so quick. Okay, this should be the requirement, unless there's something I'm missing. But it says difficulty 10 out of 10, so I would assume that difficulty 10 out of 10 means 10 out of 10, your guy is, your man is done. That would have been a better bar, but then I messed up because I got panicked. Um, yes, skip the cutscene. Yes, I don't care, bro. I look like it's gone. Yes, mate, it's gone. Give me the requirement. <gasps> Boggers, deadly sketch. Beautiful. I actually did this 11 times. <gasps> it's done, though. We are indeed bringing home the bacon, and I'm pretty sure that I have brought home the bacon right here. If this conversation actually wants to finish, there it is. Bringing home the bacon. Another quest done. Another one off the list. On to the next one, which is... Um... <laughs> no! And there they are. Elemental Workshop 4 done. I need to make a body body on the workbench. No, I don't. Wait, where do I go up? Oh, climb stairs. There. <coughs> Wrong stairs. We need to make a body body on the workbench, which is over here. A body body. Smith it. And there should be Elemental Workshop 3 done. <laughs> yes, it took so long. <laughs> oh my god, we got it though. Elemental Workshop numero 3 done this took me a little while but it's done we're happy all elemental workshops are done we never have to do them again until we do them on the iron man yikes and there is the final upgrade for upgrading waiko now i just need to do unlocking waiko which i'm not going to complete because i might make this my last requirement so we can have a big party here because it's nice and pretty and i'm pretty sure everyone can come here question mark hopefully <laughs> i'll figure it out don't worry um yeah um remember how i said that i would only be 
doing this for the last requirement? Yeah, no. Um, not doing it because I will do the kudos one because that's exactly where I need to pick up my completion escape and everyone can get there. And I'm still not sure if everyone can get here. So that is unlocking Waiko done. I think I'm actually going to work on some homes to peaches today, but we'll see. There's 108 points. I need another like 100 points because I need 200, but like we're halfway here, but oh my lord this this thing is so glitchy sometimes man it is absolutely horrendous but getting it done it's not too bad shout out to mr rambo for keeping me company um let's get the last 100 points and then we need to do all the other rooms but this is by far the longest one okay i think if i run here I'm quickly um glancing over to the map on how to do these puzzles this should be the final telekinetic point i need 200 telekinetic points there it is 200 possess points in telekinetic room which done onto the alchemy room which is i think the second slowest after this one and the other two are quite quick so let's do the alchemy room kind of need to read up on how to do it because the only time i've really really done it was on old school where it pretty much tells you what to do exactly how many points will this first deposit be i need 280 that was only six oh <laughs> okay so i need about Okay, yeah, uh, okay. Take a bit longer than I thought. I was like, okay, yeah, I've been talking for a little while. Yeah, okay, I, I need way more than that, okay. Cool. Okay, so I'm hoping I understand the way these points are being calculated, right? Because this should be, yes. Okay, that is more than enough. We needed 285 points with the diaries that we have unlocked. That is two out of the four rooms done, two more to go. I think these are really quick, especially enchantment is really quick. But 190. No, 189 hold up let me just get one more this crime wasn't actually too bad we um i i, I just kind of when you get in a flow with this it's it's clunky it's boring but when you get in a flow with it it's actually not too bad there it is 190 points which we'll need because i got the medium diaries done on the desert we uh, get this kind of point all that's left is the enchantment room which is very very easy do it there it is whilst we get a raid on twitch there is the final enchant for the completionist requirement for peachy bones aka unlocking bones to peaches let me go up these stairs let me go to the reward shop trade with rewards guy give me bones to peaches buy bones to peaches and there it is peachy bones done on the completionist grind let's go this was one i was actually dreading but we got it unlocked beautiful I'm just just feeding this head just alcoholic beverages to watch the sunset with. Like he is like, oh, I need to like be absolutely wave prof to watch the sunset. This actually makes even Kramja look good. Sick man, absolutely love it. Apparently, there's a conversation with my driller again. There he is, Baron von Hatten Crapper, my guy. Insert crap rave somewhere here. What is going on? <laughs> what is this, bro? <laughs> what? Just enjoy the cute kittens. Rockling for a minute. What is going on? Crap rave. <laughs> what is going on, man? <laughs> this quest is an absolute crack cocaine. Dude, we need cutscenes back like these, honestly. These cutscenes are so crisp and nice, man. What happened to this era of cutscenes? Also, can someone tell me how if this ties into ED3 somehow? There it is. Pieces of hate done. This quest was interesting. Um, but besides that, it has a very, very important unlock, and that is this. Check charges. I don't know how you recharge it. Probably a way I'll look it up, but this book of piracy is huge for clue scrolls, and people have a mimi me about not having it, but I finally have it. And another quest done for oh questcape i love how just literally all roofs are glitching <laughs> so what is it showing us besides caldegrim <laughs> okay 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 this cutscene should be the final part of this quest honestly for me any quest that has something time gated in it just just time gated stuff in general in this game sucks but I guess that you have to wait for the things to grow and obviously brewing beer isn't just happened in like two seconds but you know maybe have your screen go dark and then be like oh yeah some time passes and then you know 
it's brood or something to have some immersion and realism to it but there it is forgettable tale of a drunken dwarf actually means that we can finish this quest line now as well quests are stacking up these are actually the quests i still want to do so give us a okay so obviously follow up here king of the dwarves and then um the final one but yeah we're, we're getting there it's not too bad i do not mind doing quests so these will not be a big punishment i guess so yeah 13 more to go to be honest this whole chaos dwarf or dwarf in quest line looks very very interesting but then again same complaint that i have with all other quests i can't be honest reading it bro like i'm not reading all this look at how much dialogue there is like right here at this moment in time no i can't be honest but it it, it looks interesting i always like seeing like ogres and gnomes and other ones but i guess we're just doing the entire dwarf and quest line in one go here if it's doable in a day but it should be doing that reward's actually quite fat nice <laughs> class okay literally the most dutch name in the entirety of runescape 100 percent confirmed class here he is my driller there we go this should be the end of this quest and then we're gonna do birthright of the dwarf which i believe is the finale apparently i need to relog <laughs> according to the wiki i never know if that means like lobbying or actually fully logging out of the game it's interesting though like there's some sort of protest going on against these people or something Yo, can you guys finish off your dialogue so I can, you know, end my clip, please? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. There we go. Complete King of the Dwarves. Very nice. Nice experience, by the way. Next up, Birthright of the Dwarves. Quests like these make RuneScape feel so magical, man. Like, just, just look at it, man. Just all these glowing memory fragments just floating about. It's just, just gorgeous, man. I love it. It's great. <laughs> Tear it down! Tear it down! Yes! Not gonna lie, this quest line was pretty, pretty sick. Yet again, I would have loved to know exactly what happened and stuff, and someone in the comment section can probably tell me, but it, it, it was it was it was a good quest. Like I'm I'm not going to lie about it. It was a decently good quest line. Very, very interesting. And I just want this conversation to end. There it is. It is done. Birthright of the dwarves. That quest line fully fully finished let's finish some more quest lines um that was it i thought it would be more difficult or intriguing but yeah the Tsar storyline done as well so the dwarf one is done the Tsar one is done um uh, all that's left are some random quests and obviously this this case end game one and finishing the uh, vampire quest line as well and then the mental deception then we're done so i feel i completely forgot to record the first one but i filled up the second memory thing i need to do five of these bots to well do this requirement called data recovery interesting interesting thing i've actually never been here so yeah on to the next one which one do i need to do i need to do radiant energy all right there's the third one done we're going on to the fourth one and then there's the fifth one and then we're done with this requirement actually quite a chill requirement don't really mind doing it and you get a little bit of divination experience working towards that 120 yay yeah that's gonna take so long bro that is the second last one done and now there's just this one which i'm assuming i'm looking at my other screen right now incandescent energy and then we're done with this requirement very nice very chill oh we have an intermediate clip but look at this big speed drop coming in is it one no it but it's constant can i do it quicker no constant 7k xp drops oh that is absolutely gorgeous i mean <laughs> if you see how much experience i still need it's not going quick but still looks really nice did i lose the clip where i actually got this requirement done yes yes i did however we're coming on the 27th of october so be there live on my twitch channel times are on screen Enjoy the rest of the video. Don't forget to like. Yo, guys, I'm playing the actual beta of sailing. That is insane, bro. Like, look, bro. It's sick. Like, what is this? Oh, it's awesome, mate. I can, like, search the... Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got it explored. The dungeon. Whoa, so sick. Um, This should be the Gawa quest done after this dialogue. Also, this might be one of the prettier places in RuneScape. Like, seriously, look at how gorgeous... Also, the frames here are gorgeous, too. Yeah, there it is. The Gawa quest done. Very interesting quest, very long, but I like it. It is what it is. <laughs> okay, this should be the end of the Demon Slayer quest within 
the dimensional disaster we need to do two more after this magic lamp yay i already had max magic crafting lamp whoop, whoop. all right let's do the wellness event i think by handing these in i should get the requirement there it is memories of gothics attune and hand deal all anagrams of gothics not a requirement knocked off and if we go to the requirements actually hold up i'm actually so happy i knocked two big ones well big ones very important ones out right there if you go to the completion escape oh it's slowly but surely shrinking this one will be done very soon this one is not difficult and the other ones are all worked on the diaries of the cleanse is very much done i need to work on the act we trick but i'll do that whenever good pretty good okay uh take two let's see if we have them all now i thought i had them all but apparently they were further on this dungeon as well so i think if i hand these in i should have them all question mark yes do i oh something happened right there okay search storage that is sick that is actually quite sick there it is erosion memories deposit all those erosion memories and we got a new override as well which you will never use nice and those are the Saren memories done as well. There should be an, that thing there should open. Yes. We're going to search that wall. And then we have this one done as well. Whilst I was here, I was like, well, let's do the other one as well. I had to get some new food. But yeah, I had to attack 80 pillars, which was very interesting. But deposit Saren memory crystals. There we go. It is done. On to the next requirement. Okay, I think if I activate this one, press yes. Yes, there it is. Troublesome crystals is done no i don't want to review the memories goodbye that is nice um that last one was pretty eh to do because i had to do fishing for my harmony pillar but it is done another one ticked off the list which is really really nice one more memory one to do bandosian one but i need to do a quest for it i'm not going to do that now i think sick cutscene <laughs> holy moly jesus christ okay let's take them out easy light work the fuck is the stone of jazz doing here? Um, what the hell is the stone of jazz doing here? Question mark. Can someone explain? What is it doing here in the vampire lands? Yo, King Rold, I have cleared vampirism. It's no longer a thing. We sorted it out. Let's go. There it is. Done. River of Blood, I mainly needed that for the Sun Spear, and that I needed for River, or sorry, Rush of Blood. Obviously, I need to quest for Westcape anyway, but if we uh, just go look at it. Famous, River of Blood. Make them bleed, River of Blood. Slayer Master, River of Blood. There's three tasks that I can do in one go. Also, Taskmaster is also, it requires you to do this, so yeah, many birds with one stone. Let's do it. There is multiple... There's properly metal. Wow. Okay. Wow. Holy moly. How many did I get? Okay. Let's get two. Uh, if you completed the Slayer Master. Okay. That's what I needed. Um, is that everything that I needed for comp? Question mark. I know I got the requirement for thingy. Uh, completionist. Why did I not get famous? Oh wait, that's that that that's a different uh, Slayer challenge. But yes, we got them. Beautiful. Can I get a pog? I just collected all the Elven diaries in the clans, and I just got another completionist con <laughs> thing done. Okay, I think if I just talk to Lord Emlot, there we go. I'm forever washing shadows. Another requirement done in this area. There's some other things that I need to get done tomorrow. I'll actually be starting with the minion tower, which will be fun. I think. Uh, but yeah, this is what the list is looking like right now. That is amazing. We're getting there. I want to say slowly but surely, we're getting there. <laughs> Does anyone know if this is a reference to that couple that RuneScape showed at RuneFest once? Or that, that posted a story or whatever and they made a quest about it? Question mark. Does anyone know? I'm, I'm genuinely quite curious. There is a love story done. That's the second to last quest that I need for Dominion Tower. And then we can do it. Oh no, I need to fight Zanik. I don't want to. I'm gonna I'm gonna spare her. Honest to God, I love Zanik. Of course I'm sparing Zanik. Aw. It's so cute. Oh my god. Yes, of course, bro. I'm not if if anyone watching this killed Zanik, unsubscribe now.
You're gone, bro. We don't need you in this channel. No, I'm joking. Please subscribe. Please, please, please. <laughs> and there it is. The mighty fall completed finishing off another storyline. Actually, let's actually get a level here for attack. Um, 110 attack or oh, 108. I thought I had 109. Jeez. Uh, attack coming in. There's another lamp here, which I'm going to be using on strength because strength is the one that's furthest away. But yeah, another quest done. Beautiful. Very, very nice. And yeah, it unlocks another comp requirement for us to complete, but mainly the Minion Tower. We can now grind it out. Let's do it. Congratulations, you've reached floor 15 in Climber Mode. You're unlocked the possibility to be receiving help from power-ups. If you're lucky, you will find them in the reward box. Okay, cool. That means that um, I have done this challenge that I needed to do. That's one out of the many. So let's just finish this boss fight and go into challenge mode, I believe. Okay, so I can claim the reward. I've done everything I needed to do in rumble mode, I believe. Claim rewards. I have no idea what they do. Oh, journal page. Okay, okay, nice. Okay, we got three journal pages. That is huge. How many did I need again? Um, hold up. This wiki is so huge. My lord. There's so much information. Like, it's good that there's so much information, but my... Um, I do need a total of 10. Oh, sorry. 20. So, like, I'm 3 out of 20, which is nice. Okay. Claim. Stat boost in arena. I think I could just claim that, right? Super Dominion Medallion. Okay, cool. So we still need to do all of these. So I just need to figure out the best way to do them. Yikes. Well, that was an interesting one. Apparently, <laughs> Jagex thought it was smart to put the easy version in the, less, in the list second. And then the hard version in the list, you know, first. But if I am correct in saying this means that we have done all the special challenges. I mean, I have done all the special challenges. And if we go into our hero section, it should say it here somewhere. Yes, all the special matches are crossed out, as you can see, which is nice. Now it's just camping out the monsters. And besides that, it is just doing a few other challenges. But that is it. Should be done easily. I am very happy. The only... Well, it's, it isn't really time-gated now, is it? It's just very tedious to do these harmony pillars. But I collected 50 harmony moss from the harmony pillars. If you're going to be doing this, definitely use the perfect juju farming potion and the... Um, what do you call it? The legendary green fingers aura to increase your yield because yes, it does boost your chances. Now let's commit homicide on elves, I guess, because I need to kill a thousand of them. So let's do it. Yes, let's fucking go, dude. Do a minion, take notes. We got all the dominion ones. We got a double chest for the last two. I'm pretty sure if I get the right amount of KC, I will actually have completed the minion tower. I might have actually completed it now because in the time that it took me to get these uh, bank or whatever. I oh my lord, let's go. I got all the pages. I just still need to do runs because I need to get the bombs because you need the pages to get certain bombs. But as soon as I have those done, let me actually have a little look at the rewards thing. Like I'm very, very close. I can just do endurance now. Um, yeah, so I still need to take on about... Where are they? Uh, where does it say? Oh, I need four more bosses. I think I have it done then. I'll just have a little look though. I am 99% certain that if I claim this, go down here. It's a Dominion Marker 4, right? And I complete all other achievements, visit the top of the tower. Dominion Marker Stage 4 unlocked. Gimme. There we go. It is done. It is done. So, right. Call fight queen. Yes. Deploy. Target. Can I now deploy it? Yes. Use a dread nip on the call fight queen. Cool. That is done. Right now. Let's go. Given to Rahim Mayer in Povenich. Cool. I want to teleport out, by the way. Rahim Maidrilla. Talk about the task system. Thank you very much for the Desert Emulator 3. <clears throat> I'm going to deploy this bad boy. And that should be Desert Amulet 4. And we are done. Who do we need to go? Oh, we need to go to Uzer. And then we have it. Beautiful. And we walk over to the sign that is here. I think I have this one level 99 as well. Beautiful. Let's go on to these ones. There is another one level 99. One more to go. I just, well, from the medium ones. That's the other, one. That's the other side. 
beautiful very nice it's it's a long grind this one is a bit more chill though because i actually don't need to rush the dungeons and chad is being very nice hi chad we have this level 99 we have this level 99 all that's left tomorrow is to get pazuzu and his counterpart at the other side to level 99 and then we're done with this the longest requirement done it's the last one there wait my mouse just hovered over it there there this is the last one Vandal's memories done. That is the last memory collection. Please check eggs, don't add them. They're terrible. Um, let me go to achievements real quick. Look at how short though is this. It's great. I'm actually going to do the mirror queue in memoriam now and I'm gonna look into bridge over friendly waters because I don't think those should be too long and the other ones I already have planned out. So getting there. Um making YouTube videos and then my YouTube was like, hey, I'm gonna be ten times more successful than your streams. And I'm like, yay. I'm, am I really buying green armored boots for 1 million each? Bam. I just spent 1 million on elder rune armor boots. Oh, these are these are elder rune. I need the actual normal. I'm an idiot. All right, let me add these items. I've waited a nice 10 days to do this quest because why wouldn't I wait 10 days to do a quest? Oh, wait. There it is. Mercury Memorial or memory of the Mercury. Mini quest done. Um, I'm pretty sure that it's just the... Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why there are two achievements for it. Why is the quest completion not just an achievement for it? But it is done. Um, on to whatever is next for this here. Bridge of Friendly Waters, maybe. I don't know. There's one of the four or five. I don't know. Wait, hold up. How many? Um, let me go here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one of the five Fremnic sagas done. Dungeoneering and questing. Why? What would you go? What is going on, mate? <laughs> bro, I don't care about your lore. Bun off, bruv. It should be another 100% completion of a Fremenic trial saga thingy. 100% exactly what we need. Bro, I would like to um, tell you that Tok is an absolute chat, bro. He just calls things how they are, bro. My guy's blocking Tok. He's a Tok blocker. If the thing is a one-eye thing, it's a one-eye thingy boy. Love him. Crunchy rune rocks, bro. This oddly shaped stick, bro. It's a pickaxe. We love it. Great. I like this one. This one's good. Here is the talk chat story done. That one was actually fun. One, because I was allowed to freaking one-hit things. And two, because talk is an absolute chat. And we, we stand that. There it is. Complete the experience saga. On to the next one. Two more to go. And I'm afraid that for the last one, I will have to um, get something out of Dungeoneering, which I'm not looking forward to, but it is what it is. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, that one is done. Hopefully you have it 100%. This one was a bit more complicated, at least on the wiki. Okay, we got it 100%. That is beautiful. One thing I want to kind of say, give it a little bit of a tip for anyone who's doing this. Make sure you are on regular spellbook, otherwise you cannot progress with this one i just need to figure out what i need to do for the last saga but yeah you need to be on the regular spell book and if you're not then you're kind of screwed which was the case for me yeah it is what it is ring of kinship and the rock of twin bundle players cannot how do you get the rock of twin bundle oh no yeah i will um i'll look into it but i don't have the item yikes Okay, this should be the final one right here. If I hit it and then actually, you know, click this. There it is. Yaktui, a charm, which is great because the enhanced Yaktui stick is actually something that I need for a master clue. I think the hidey hole is here. Um, I don't know if I said this in the last clip or in a, in, a, in a clip before, but this requirement is terrible for me who actually, you know, has very poor eyesight and who, you know, struggles with seeing them. So like having the nightstone like thing, even dusk would probably, um, the dusk would probably also help, but yeah, it's it's done. Now the only tedious requirement, I guess, that I've left is the one for sinkholes, but I'll figure it out, don't worry. There it is, easy set for the Demonheim, done. It's gonna be a painful one because the sinkhole one, I, I just, yeah, that's gonna be interesting, but uh, yeah. Easy Demonheim ones done. The mediums and hearts and elites. Engineering, yay. Oh, nice. He's level 99. Beautiful. That's him done. Yes. Okay. Um. Now we just need to do the other side run. 
Never done with this requirement. There it is. Complete tracky, full level up all temple tracking donnies. We can continue the track and we are done with this requirement. Very long one done. Let's grind out this comp cave. There's Dorix and Borix quest done. There it is. Dorix task two done. Borix and Dorix task number three. Well, Dorix task number three done. Right? There should be Borix task, Dorix task four done. There we go. Dorix and Borix quest number five done. There we go. Dorix task number six done. Only seven to go. Um, right. Santiri, I will bring you this weird rusty black Warhammer because for some reason you want that? Question mark. Um, there it is. Borix task number seven done. One more to go. Dorix tasks seven or eight done. Final one. Let's do Borix tasks. Well, I will do it tomorrow, but for you guys, it will be the next clip, I think. Unless I decide to do something else tomorrow, but yes. Oh my god. Oh my lord. I just I just got so lucky there. I I, I will hopefully edit this properly so you can see what happened. I was looking for that Bok and Twine, one of the friendly sagas, and I literally just found it in like the third room. Oh my lord. By the way, if you don't have it yet, any of the saga items, make sure to actually talk to Donny first because you might actually already have them. But I just got so extremely lucky. I can, uh, I will finish the dungeon just in case I won't get it back. But yeah, that's really nice. Let's go. I can't explain to you how happy I am with this requirement. It is so hard to find a skill door at max level, but that's the medium test done. We're pretty much done with the Demonheim ones. Let me show you. Um, cook one of each type of fish. I just need to buy these three fishes. It's not too difficult. I don't know if this is enough, but we'll see. Uh, orb full. I just need to make this orb. Um, those are the elite ones. And for the hard ones, I just need to do the sagas, which I need to do anyway. This will be easy. That's also quite easy. That's easy. And that's easy as well. So we got it. Let's go. And there is... The elite task set for Demon I'm done. I haven't done the hard one yet. I still need to do a few. Um, I need to get this one done, which I don't think is too difficult. I will do this one because it's not a trim rack. Uh, I think I'll do this one now and this one as well. And this These I can do in this dungeon. This I need to do a quest for. So yeah, so close to never doing dungeoneering again until we go for trim. When you save spot an enemy in a quest where you control other NPCs, honestly, MLG. Big MLG. Also, this quest is terrible. Salt in the Wound, top 5 worst quest. Don't care what anyone says. Yeah, like I said, <laughs> one of the worst quests, but we needed it for the Demon Hind Diaries for the final task that we need to do, besides the Fremenic Saga one, which I'll probably do next after this. <sighs> Jagex, I don't want to control other NPCs. Let me control my own one, please. Bro, look at this chat just fucking headbutting him, bro. What an absolute legend of a man. Go on, champ. Go on. Um, what's his name? Thok. Thok is honestly the chat of RuneScape. Pretty Lass is quietly waiting for Thok to ask her out on a date. Come on, Thok. Well, to be fair, he probably will not ask her out on a date because he got too many women throwing themselves at him. Because he's that much of a chat. Oh, absolute lad, bro. Thok triumphed over his brother Mervis. Yes, Thok is the greatest brother. Harmos never stood a chance. Let's go! I think that means that I will get the um, requirement done. Bro, how long was this cutscene? This clip will just be just me talking for like two minutes. And I, I, I miss like half the clip because I'm pressing the button that only saves one minute. And it's way longer. Than... Boneface still hasn't woken up yet. Bro, I don't care. Just allow me, bro. Please. Please. 100%. Be sure if I click this. Bridge over for Emmy Waterstone. And also the achievement for the diary. There's one more thing to do and then we got it done. No more dungeoneering. Let's go. Yes, there it is. Start of floor 225 of any MO type bound to you. That is the last one. Telsar. Okay, I will go to Telsar. But it also means that I have completed the Demon Hind set task. On to the next one, which will be Pref Adanas. First, we need to do some bossing, but let's pick up these rewards and then we can go. I'm not going to show you that because they're just rewards. I definitely did not sign at the end of that kill, but yeah, um, that's the first one. I suck at Araxi, man. Like, I, I, I've I, never seen a guide on... I've never really watched a guide. I've seen a guide. I made one mail, nice. Um, but yeah, we need to get those crystals for the famous challenge. I will not bore you with everything. I'm sad I need to do QBD, but <coughs> I thought I was going to do this one first. But yeah, I also, I'm sick again, if you couldn't tell. That's why I'm slowly dying. There's Giant Mole done. I've only done 5kc as well on this boss. 
I never done hard mode giant mole. Uh, it's obviously it wasn't difficult. Mole knows. Is that a bear? Apparently not. I don't know. I'll just leave it on the ground. I don't care. Anyway, on to the next one, which apparently is a DK, so which shouldn't be too difficult. Not gonna lie, getting that kill did definitely hurt me because obviously I have the lock at 165 KC. Now I have 166, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I have to do it for my comp cape. Uh, sure, bank. Whatever. On to the next one, which is Commander Ziliano. Well, we got for Dungeon 1 bosses pretty much. There it is. The famous challenge done by Morvan. There's only one thing we actually really need to do with Morvan is do his Dark Beast task, which will take a little bit of time, but it is fine. Where's my thing? There it is. So, yeah, we just need to continue on, but that wasn't too difficult. Just Araxi. I just need to learn it and practice it. I have killed thousands and thousands of abyssal demons and this is the first time i got an abyssal wand um fair enough but i just need to do this for the diary because i need to do an extended slayer task and then i need to do some dark beast task at morven and then i'm done with that and that's the only like slightly tedious requirement left and the rest is all just literally doing it which is what i like doing of course in thousands of kills i don't get one and within like a few kills i get a second one sure actually sure jagex sure and that is the last well last two actually um dark beast coming in which grants me if it doesn't say it anything anywhere in my no wait do i need to do something for it or do i just have it now um i was going to say that grants me the second to last elven title but it didn't give me any pop-up or something and yes before you ask I got ill again because why not but like like literally starting off this yeah i have it fair enough just no pop up uh one more to go which is very simple um i swear to god i start this series off being ill and i will end it off being ill great however let's get this elven title start so i believe if i talk to lord emblot here yes there it is elven titles obtain all the titles in the elven lands or the elven titles i didn't even fully read it let's uh finish off the diaries actually and then, oh, dude, this list is so short now. Oh, my Lord. We literally just need to do Kudos for You, which will be my last one. I need to do the Borg quest, which is not difficult. Questscape, five quests, and the task, which I'm going to be doing now, which is literally 30 achievements, which are very, very simple. Let's do it. All right, Siren. Apparently, you want bacon, bread, and chocolate. Such a weird... This is such a random requirement, but... Hey, oh, there it is. Surrender set heart task done. Let's do the elite ones. To be fair, that milestone cape actually looks decent. Just to, like, I hate the bottom part, but this part looks sick. I would say it looks better than a max cape. Um, we need to do, like, two more requirements, and then we know with the elite ones as well, which is great. Okay, I think that if I leave here, yes, that is the Tehran win. Elite ones, done. Yes, yes, yes. Only the Mauritania one and the Varric one to go, but the Varric is literally just me having to do it. I just couldn't be asked doing it when I finish all the other tasks and then doing that one. So, yes, I'm going to get given by Ellen at the Max Guild. Let's go. Okay, that is the medium Mauritania Diaries done. Onto the heart and elite. Obviously, I have the big tedious task done. I just need to do, like, the small task to fully finish it off. Um, who do I talk to? Robin, okay, I know where to find Robin. That's not too bad. All right, on to the next. Nice. Ring of Fire, Flame Gloves, and Inferno Clades. And I'm pretty sure if I check health on this magic tree and then chop down, we should get the final Varok Elite Diary requirement. Finishing off the Varok Elite ones. And I needed this Ring of Fire for the Mortania hard ones, which also should be finished very soon. If it wants to cut, please. Hello. Before Christmas, please. Bro, this is taking so long. Hello. Yeah, I understand why PVM is the best way to get magic logs. Why did I not get a achievement? Hello. Yes, let's go. There it is. All adds up, which is the last task for the Varok Elite Diaries, which means that all we need to do... Why do I need to pick it up in Edgeville? Anyway... Um, all we need to do is finish the Mortania ones. I am literally about to do the hard ones and the elite ones should be done in a second as well, which will give us Taskmaster easy. 
one thing I, I would want to bring up about this task system is with most tasks you can just go to the taskmaster but with some of them you can't and you need to bring the previous armor bit of a strange one but hey oh, it is what it is okay i think we can finally light this torch now because i was being i thought you could just light any torch but you need to do that one but that is the hard one done which we're gonna go to this odd old man at barrows to get this done and then we did the elite ones and then we're done with the diaries let's go i believe if we do this and then we do this it should give us as good as renew but that also would also grab to x inferty for completing the tyrannwind sets whilst i complete the mortania sets but also become a task master we are done with all the area tasks only five more quests to go and then we're comped pretty much let's go okay uh where is arian hello hello this should be the quest done which means we only do three more quests the nomad one this one is done now these experiences are absolutely rubbish um the nomad one sliska's end game the dimension of disaster and then the borgs and doors quest and then we have the quest cape done as well and then we have a comp cape polk champ this looks sick, by the way. Look at this, like, floating Lumbridge Castle. This is sick, man. Yeah, I rate this hard. Bro, isn't that my wife from the Fremnik trials? Did, did Nomad just... Nah, fam. Yeah, you gotta pay for that, bruv. You gotta pay for it. Yo, Jagex. Just for future reference, I know this quest is a bit old. I know you've done this recently. Just never do this kind of mechanics. They are always trash. And they will always remain trash. So stop doing it. It ain't it, Chief. That is sick, man. Honestly, that is so dope. Man, ugh, we need these cutscenes back, dude. Like, even though I think, like, especially the boss fight is a terrible, terrible boss fight. Like, 100% literally makes this quest a 6 out of 10. Just because of the boss fight. Otherwise, it would be like a 9 out of 10 if it was an actual, like, decent boss fight. But hey, let's finish it off. No. Like who? Nah, mate. Zanik stays alive, man. I love Zanik. Goodbye, my friends. I love Zanik, man. Like, I am always choosing Zanik. There it is. Nomad's Elegy. Done. What was that thing for? 425 quest points. Aha. Okay, so all that's left is um, Sliska's Endgame. And the thing, whatever, Dimensional Disaster, and then we are done. And we are done with the Questcape. Easy game. Nomad, will you please stay dead this time? You're so annoying, man. I don't like you. Are you joking me? Are you joking? Bro, I swear to fucking God. Oh my lord. So my client just crashed. And I was like, nah, bro. I swear to God, if I have to, like, walk all the way back, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm literally gonna throw a fit. But we're good. Can I just say that this that this maze actually gives me a lot of like Harry Potter 4 Goblet of Vi Fire vibes. I do have to say like the film version and not the book version. The book version is way better. If you've never read the books, go read them. Trust me, they are way, way better because the maze is actually very more or very much so more dangerous. Yeah, I just, just wanted to give that thought. I'm just going to... Follow, I'm sick of it even more. You're a legend, my friend, to get through this maze. Oh my lord, we reached the end of the maze. Shout out to sick of it, man. If I don't forget, I'll put his link in the description. But I believe it's now time to take on um, our great, great friend, Slisk. Gonna be fun, I think. Big man, why can't he just run and I need to do all these obstacles? This is not fair. I like a rematch. Get up, Eric! Is that the uh, Fracture Staff Armadale by any chance? <laughs> I have one too, mate. What's going on, bruv? Dude, this is sick. Like, look at this cutscene. No idea what's going on, but sure. Whatever. It looks cool. If only there were voice acting in it, bruv. And there he goes. That wasn't too difficult. I didn't use any food. Um, um. All right, go on then. Take him out. I literally just... Also, apparently it doesn't matter what, you know, order you do all the things in that you need to do in this fight. I will not spoil it for anyone who doesn't want to do it, but um, 
or still needs to do it, but it doesn't matter which order you do it in. But cut. All right. Let's hand this in. Shout out. I'm sick of it again. Um, gentle approach. I'm. 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 I'm not the raw mean world guardian teller. I will tell you. I'll be honest. Honesty, bro. Sick quest though. Like honestly, whoever made that maze, your devil, but also your genius because the way that maze works. But there it is. Siska's end game done. I might actually keep the lamps for the new skill. I don't know if that will work. Let me know in the competition down below, but I will keep them until then. Because I have no need for it now. There it is. Defender of Eric done. One more quest to go. So we have to quest cape, bro. Go. There it is. Dimension of Disaster, Curse of Erev done. Be sure to talk to Eris and complete the main quest to earn your silver pennies. Okay. So, is this how I'm going to get my quest cape? Hold up. Let me actually just make it look a little bit better. There we go. Dimensions of Disaster? Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't care. Come on. There it is. You completed quest cape. Earn all quest points to be able to obtain the quest cape. Let's freaking go. Is that not a broadcast? I might have to actually claim it. But yeah, let's uh, let's claim my quest cape. First time actually in RuneScape 3. Give me the quest cape. Yes, please, mate. I have never had it in RuneScape 3. I'll make a screenshot of that. But um, this is definitely the first time. Doesn't look good. It looks absolutely terrible. The Master Pass quest cape actually looks beautiful, but this looks terrible. Uh, does it have anything? No. Okay, bye. Um, well, we got the quest cape. It's only, um, we pretty much have a completion escape now, which is sick, mate. <laughs> um, yeah, we just need to do uh, what's mine is Boric, so the Boric stash, Music Maestro, just all of the music tracks, which I probably have to do some quests, mini quests for, and kudos to you. Awesome. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Well, there's Boric stash one done. I didn't even need to need this call because I still had it fully filled up from um, <laughs> your trooper, my guy. Um, fully filled up from the diaries. Easy. There's Boris says number two done. On to the third one. Before I do, I really need to run to the toilet, so I'm going to be doing it now. So ending the clip. Bye bye. I love you. Cool, 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 cool. Where are you, Boric? Boric, you big fatty bruv. There we go. There's the Borix and Dorix. What's mine is also Boric, and the Boric has number oh, three done. Leaving us with only kudos and the music cape. Nice. Very nice. Where's the door? <laughs> Bro, the door is gone. <laughs> what do you mean, bro? This is, not, this is not supposed to happen. This is the shed from Fairy Tale Part 1. There should be a door here. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh... It is really sick to see how all these, I guess, characters came to be how they came to be, I guess, if, if that makes any sense. Like, I think it's really, really cool to see how all they, like, yet again, voice acting would be sick, but no, on a serious note, I had to do this to get some music tracks unlocked because I'm working on that music ape and I needed these abstract ones. So yeah, on to uh, the next one, which, um, is something i will find it out wait here it is backstorian hollow i'll have to google that the home of daemon defeat every boss in demonheim which we have done we don't care there's only two more music tracks to do and they're very very easy to get so let's get them mm -hmm. hey there it is music maestro unlock all the music tracks in runescape we are done beautiful there's only the statue to build and then we have our completion escape however i really hope jags doesn't screw me over with the new update tomorrow if they do then i will be very sad and depressed but hey ho it's done and yes they did screw me over it is a bit late so that's why my voice is down so i guess enjoy the asmr content clip but speedy growth is going to be unlocked which is going to speed this process up because this means i can do a farmer pretty much every single hour we 
need to do a few which ones do we still need because i don't know i know we need to do the title but i don't know what the other ones are yeah so pretty much everything bountiful harvest everlasting incense uh incense on a retreat and buckets okay cool yeah that's what it is we'll get it done ladies and gentlemen i know i haven't really showed anything in this episode from this requirement this is the loot by the way if you're interested 43 mil uh it's probably slightly more probably more towards 50 mil that i made of this requirement obviously i had to buy the seats but i'm selling them back probably at a higher price because i bought them quite low but here it is the most important thing honorary druid confirm and that should be it a druid's sidekick this means we only have one requirement left that i can pick up right now but i won't do until sunday so if me recording this video it's thursday because then we're going to get the completion escape so um yeah let's sell all this and get our completion escape seven months ago i started the completionist which is crazy to think about now but um yeah we're here now having all the recommended requirements done besides one there's just one left kudos to you please tell me i've done this right like if i haven't done this right i'm gonna cry what a journey especially after the um what's it called was done after ports was done that's when i was like okay you know what now we can actually grind now we can get it out of the way all the other requirements are not too bad there were some ones that were a bit eh but overall not too bad let's um add these to the plinth I'm not gonna milk this. I just want the cape and I want to open these clues. Why is, how are you floating? I'm pretty sure if we do this right. Cutscene and everything as well. Okay. Pro from Ohio. <laughs> They should give us kudos to you. Complete all completion escape. Let's go. We freaking did it. Is that the broadcast already? No. Sad scam game. I don't I don't care about your dialogue. Bye. Let's get the cape. We want the cape. We're gonna have pretty particles. We're gonna have pretty particles. Let's go! Um. Well, well, well. Investigate. Mysterious cave. I think that's how you do it. Um, hey, get your hands off that. You won't... Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Would you like to know? What is this cave? Can I try and wear it? Of course. Oh, that's a sick animation. I've not seen it react like that. I think the cape is identifying a true owner. Uh, you, s you say maybe the true owner, but this one is for the most treasured items we have here. Replica, how does 5 million gold sound? Eh, that's not fair. You're basically Superman now. Let's go. There it is. The hooded completion. Is it keepsake straight away, by the way? I will I will I will customize it. I will customize. Thank you guys so much for all the gratis, by the way. I really, really do appreciate that. That's so sick. Um I never know how this works. There we go. What looks better, hooded or regular? No, nah, hooded looks better. Apply. There we go. There it is. There it is. Where's the broadcast? Thank you guys so much for all the gratis. Um, I definitely want to screenshot this for uh, for later use. Okay, let's customize this quick because I want it to actually look good. Wait. Cancel. Load. Confirm. So this is my... 
max cape if it was a comp cape actually that doesn't look too bad uh, actually you know what i will customize it later i'll just keep it as my max cape colors for now um well let's tell you to folly for the clue opening see you guys okay listen guys i am at the yo mr pro dev how are we doing i am at the e daters island if you go uh east of the Falador load zone there's a tree an anniversary tree if you get if you get blood i will give you some tea i expect you to come and give me tea um we will start with the easy clues though because they're the less exciting ones i'm gonna milk this content i don't care here's the thing right before we start with the easy clues, I need to quickly tell you guys a little story about easy glue scrolls, right? We need the red elegant legs. The average amount of clues to get the log is about 1500. I am at 2500 easy clues. I'm literally ranked 200. Um, and last time, just like Steph just did in the chat, People were calling all the callers that I didn't need and I was getting them. So I want you guys to call the right caller that I need. Okay, so I want you all to say red elegant legs in the chat so we can actually get it and I don't have to do easy clues anymore. That would be amazing. Oof, last nine. Will we get it, or is it going to be a 9? Oh. Come on! No! Please! Final 2? I don't care, I'm going to reroll. I just want them, bro. I just want them. So what we need actually is gilded. Because if I get gilded pieces. Oh, and I need a black unicorn mask. Black unicorn mask. And gilded piece and I will have a uh, lock. Yeah, we finished easies. We finished easies. <clears throat> predictions guys predictions 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 and <laughs> to be fair another third age helmet would not surprise me i'm not going to lie that's the type of luck we're on i gotta go and herb lore to 120 i gotta go and do herb to 120 <sighs> oh good luck with your 120 herb guy my friend good luck Ooh, sack of effigies i know that's a rare and that's a broadcast but i'm actually happy because it's a it's it's collection lock let's go um, I just want that to be the only one I get. Um, but that's sick. That's sick for now. Oof. Oh, that's a beautiful clue scroll. Eight million. Three million. I just got another sack of effigies. I just got another sack of effigies. I just click pads. <laughs> anyway um game we don't want it anymore like it's it's been good okay i'm just gonna farm sex of effigies now ain't i it's gonna happen gents can i like borrow your lock please Ooh, four male jesus Hey, if I save my dialogue for elites or masters, I'm happy with that too. I hate when you hear like the jingling noise and it's not a fortunate. Oh, we got the jackpot. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's such a beautiful, that's such a beautiful sight. 
such a beautiful sight to see. 1.5, 1.6, 41k. Okay, eight more to go, guys. Eight more clue scrolls. 1.5, 1.7, 600k, can't complain. Ho ho ho, 13.5 mil. I cannot complain. I cannot complain about that. I can about this. Oh, I do a 14 mil. Oh, we are gaming, boy. Last clue. Okay, okay, we have four B-rolls. Yeah, I'm not going to B-roll that. Well, we didn't get any dice, but we got lock progression in this sack of effigies. We're going to move on to my peasant amount of elite clues because I suck at them. With elite clues, what do we need? Um, actually, what do I need? Blood Dragon Hide Bandos. Oh, and a third H piece, right? To get base lock. Oh, collection lock. Oh, that's a Bandos body. Nice. That was a Bandos body. Nice. That's sick. Okay, we got collection lock. Let's go. That was the last one. Never lucky. On these. Okay, um, I was supposed to have 50, but I didn't get enough, so. <clears throat> 49. 700 to 800 mil, Jesus. All right, let's go on the masters. I just need Dylan's lock on the Oshers, and then we're good. Uh, for the master lock, by the way, we need golden thread, half moon spectacles green, Stylish glasses green. And everything here. Once I don't care about the Triskelion piece. Triskelion is probably a mistral on something, and I don't want to even know what it is on a mistral. Collection log? Oh, the half moon spectacles. 1.6 mil. Final one. Never lucky. We probably made over 2 bill on all the fortunates. Um or at least 1.5 pills. So we're gaming. We're absolutely gaming. But the most importantly, I'm going to change the look on this game, by the way. But we got this bad boy. Which I'm so, so happy about. That is the biggest thing that I've wanted for so, so, so long. Um, <laughs> let's look at the mess that's my bank now, by the way. <laughs> also, how much is this worth? Just out of curiosity. This alone is 253 mil. Blood, 9 mil in blood runes. 5 mil in astrals. Never. Trim is ugly. Alright, I want to have a quick look. Alright, Mr. Dylan, how much are you buying them for? Um, I need to keep one, by the way. Wait, do you want all of them? You take that back. No. Never. I will take it back. Never. I won't have a lot of disassembling to do. So, from the clue opening in Forge Components, I, I, I might have exaggerated a little bit, but I made 664 mil, so in total we made just short of 1 billion GP. I'm going to be selling them. I will be around max cash stack. I cleaned out my entire bank and then we're ready for the new series, which will be live on this channel soon. So I need to actually convert these as well. I'm going to blow all my money. So there's no more money left. And then with this bank, we're going to make bank. It's going to be fun. Hey, no pressure, never graduated, but I school them like professor. Growing up, the world always told me I was lesser. Growing up.